Hello, Wanderers. Welcome to episode one, three, four. Today's episode is brought to you by the MFL Foundation. Created in 2019, the foundation is all about handing out scholarship money to prospective students who wish to study nursing after high school. The main fundraiser for the MFL Foundation is the Youth Golf Tournament that is going to be held on July 12th at the Huntingburg Country Club. If you know a youth golfer, ask them if they're signed up today. The Wandering Dutchman Podcast. Where none of us are Dutch, but we all live in Holland, Indiana. Join us where we talk about what we all wonder about. This is the Wandering Dutchman Podcast coming to you from Smoker's Lounge. Crank it. God. Zoned in. Here we go. 134, fellas. Uh, 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 uh. 134. 134. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> no, it was good. It really kind of took good. off there. I'm uh, really getting overwhelmed by the <laughs> mound of meat we you got guys, rolling we're on gonna the have to, We're going to have to do something like get exercise some, well Target. yeah or some sort of other like heart healthy activities other than just smashing glizzies every week uh after that weekend last weekend i stepped on the scale wish i wouldn't have done i that. lost weight <laughs> i found it believe it congratulations <laughs> <laughs> it's because you took the, took the change out of your pocket before you stepped well on the scale. i may or may not have took my work boots off this time too yeah. so mm-hmm. but anyway. uh let's i mean before we jump into how our week's going we just might as well just rip the old band-aid off the arm hair there we had a hell of a time in st louis i'm glad you said hey, that. we made some new friends we made a lot of new hey friends. i just want to sh- i just want to let everybody know when in rome you do an interview because yeah. we made some new fans there yeah we did uh kirsten alexandra and cat kasha 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 Named after a radio station. Tough spot. Yeah, tough, yeah, spot. Tough, tough, tough spot. But they did a nice little interview there. They uh, enjoyed Marcus King. We really loved we, your Turkish towel. Yeah. At, uh, Miranda's yeah. Turkish towel. Arlo, did you see that reel? Did you see the, the, the interview? Oh, in yeah. He was wearing the uh, Turkish towel. You mean a scarf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. Well, I mean, that's what Andy McHugh called it. It was a Turkish, <laughs> yeah, I saw, I saw someone a Turkish it. towel that was bought for uh, $2.99, but it was like 5 bucks in shipping. Or maybe that's the opposite. I can't remember. Was that yours or Miranda's? It was Miranda. Well, why would I have a Turkish well, towel? Well, you, you never know. Like You're trendy. Trendy. What You're do you trendy. do? Wipe your brow with it? Or no way, dude. It's you just, use them as towels. It's a place on the ground so you to don't sit. get to... My yeah, mother-in-law. I'm uncultured. My mother-in-law. You uncultured swine. That's my true. mother-in-law, the one and only Amy Maxey, mm-hmm. bought Turkish towels for vacation last summer. For the beach. For the beach. And they, our kids, it's phenomenal. Like, they dry out in no time. Yeah. They got those little frilly tassels on the end. Yeah. So you could use yeah. it as like a magic carpet if you need yeah. it. Yeah. Them yeah. Turkish towel yeah. people makers. Turkish, yeah. they know what they're doing. Don't they make yeah. the coffee in the sand and crap? You are seeing that? Anyway. Never mind. I don't know. I don't they make, know. Tur- they make cigarettes. You spend too much time on the internet, are they? They make ah, Tur- Turkish, Turkish royals. Turkish golds. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so, yeah, we made some friends there. Uh, heck of a show. I made, uh, I made crucial mistakes mistakes at that concert that i'm still paying for as we speak yeah where we decided to light with our party of nine yeah was on top of a mountain yeah and go rest high wait Sorry. when did vince gill get here oh <laughs> the mountain yeah there we yeah, turns go. out we were too close to the beer tent and, and too, too far, far away from, from the, the stage. <laughs> yeah. Well, but it, I and mean, in the bathrooms. Yeah. The oh bathroom my reef. gosh! Hey, word of the wise here: if anybody yeah. plans Hollywood on, Casino and Amphitheater. Yeah. If anybody plans on in, uh, uh, attending an event at the Hollywood Casino Amphitheater, uh, wear your walking shoes yeah. or sit close to the steps because yeah. it was a solid three quarters of a mile both ways. You know, but I will say this: what it did prevent one from getting was. Drunk. Too intoxicated, because I because Janelle goes how many how many beers did you think you had and I was like I one or two, she's like you're <laughs> she's like, yeah one or two in your bra yeah <laughs> so they only sold them in the old twenty five ounces which is oh, also deceiving yeah. and they're cashless yeah. so you had to use your card on everything so you never knew what never you were going to spend yeah it was and great 
So It'll suck at the end of the month. But. <laughs> yeah, that's what that'll be interesting when that yeah. comes in. But I went uh, to the bathroom barefooted. Yeah, I went with you. It was tough. And I, I I'm going to be right out honest and say that I made a crucial mistake when I say that I, I wore Birkenstocks to the concert. Yeah, and I completely underestimated the amount of walking time that I was going to yeah. have to do. We were really unprepared. And I kind of like our hotel years I, when we checked in. Yeah. Oh boy, that was a tough, tough spot. spot. Lots of people in a bad way. Very yeah. bad. Turns out, uh, become an IHG member and yeah, don't use Booking. dot com. Yeah. Because there were several. Whoa. Do we really want to? Well, maybe you could use Booking.com. Don't, don't but just use, be an IGH, IHG don't, member. Don't use a third-party booking service. Yeah. Because you are the last on the list yeah. when it comes to reservations. Yeah. That's how they get you a low price. Yeah. They estimate that they're going to have this many unsold rooms at that date and time. Yeah. So they just make them. You know, and there was people that one room, one set of rooms was reserved. Oh, yeah, because you, you guys, when you got there, you got there right after us. Yeah, not but you, 15 minutes, you 20 had, minutes. You had the same style of room that everybody else had. And I in. called and checked, pre-checked all of us in to get our rooms together. Yeah, and turns out your single king bed turned into a double queen bed yeah. on the wrong floor. Yeah. And, you and know, it's all right. So you it could have slept out. in that uh, crew cab Ford. Yeah, like our uh, buddy A. A Sat out there, pal. There was plenty of spaces to sleep. (laughs) Oh, my uh, God. Yeah. He had it. Ooh, watch out there, Arlo. He had his uh, trash can caught, his trash bag caught, and he was ready to rip. Arlo is a trooper. Big shout out to our buddy. Not Arlo. I mean, Arlo's a trooper, too. Arlo's a trooper, too. Well, Arlo's here, too. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, Arlo's here. I'm really on a ball here. Uh, but anyway, well, uh, you're still excited. I'm about the Jack Scrap Boy, dog. Scrapyard Dog. Got that dog hum, in him. Hum, hum. We started out uh, this tournament. We had a tournament today. Second final game. Uh, number four seed. We knocked off the number one seed. Was that Brandy's crew? Yes. Uh oh. Yeah, we knocked off the number one seed on uh, what today is Monday. We knocked them off Monday night, and then we showed up today. And we let the dogs eat. And hey, we, that's, uh, we knocked off the number two seed tonight to take home the championship. You know, the only game that matters is the one when it comes playoff That's time. what Coach Sam said. My brother, my cohort, Sam Patrick, he said, hey, turns out we're a tourney team. Yeah. And that's all that matters. Yeah. You know, you work all year on some things. You get the right pieces in place, and then you just go to work. And that's, that's just what you do. Yeah. So, yeah, so St. Louis was good. Uh, concert Friday night was great. Uh, Party suites is the way to go. Cardinals at, game, baby. All inclusive, well, man. Well, I wasn't done with the concert. Oh, oh go ahead. So go I know ahead. that we give uh, Morgan Whalen a lot of gruff because um, you know Nat Bat is a big big fan of Whalen. Uh, Whal- uh, what's his name? Morgan Whalen. Whalen should be coming out of Hyman Repair here soon. Um, but uh, I tell you what, boys, we saw a real artist on Friday night. He's he dude. sounded. Better at like mm. no different. Like, Morgan Wallen was there. No, no uh, he's still hitting his hymen fixed. But but like so the I, my like I said when we talked about our seat selection because of our tardiness and check in like we could have done a little bit better. But like I wouldn't have wanted to. I we had a great I, night up on the hill. Yeah, like it turned out like it. It really turned out like in dumb luck us. It turned out really good. I wish it was louder. I agree. That's with that. the one thing. I wish it was louder. Because I, I wish I'd have called. I'd have taken the PA system up. When there. I got back, when, when we got back the next day after all the uh, hurt feelings and all, the, we, we breakfast and we were ready to start round two, and we actually had some good conversation amongst the squad. I that was my only complaint is that like I wish that maybe he'd have turned it up just, just a little just bit. Just a, just a smidge. smidge. Yeah, I'm glad I found a bag of kettle corn on the way out. Oh, boy. <laughs> full bag of kettle corn. Have you ever seen? Corn. No, it was a full bag. Have you ever seen Casey Lindemann transform into a wreck? <laughs> oh, my gosh. He went full trash panda. <laughs> I mean, it was hey, a popcorn. I'll give it the whole time. Hey, look here. It was not. It off the ground. Yes, no. sir. No. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Holy yes, sir. No, he picked it up. Blasphemy. It was in a plastic it, bag. On a rental chair. Like somebody basically set it down and left. Well, they set it down and forgot is what happened. Yeah. And I'm and like you strolling were just through. Cleaning up. Oh, and yeah. I'm like, it's a full bag. For and all like, we know. Some woman walked Somebody by. did that trick with it, like at the movie theater. <laughs> 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 There wasn't no a hole way. in the bottom of it. No, there was no way. When we walked by, some we, woman we walked by. Know. Some woman walked by me and Schwing, and she had like a three quarters eight pile of nachos in one of these little like like nacho boats, you know. 
and I had mentioned to say, and I'm not very good at whispering. Like everybody that knows me well knows that I'm not a very good missiles whisper. normally aren't. Yeah, we don't really whisper well. But I said, "Hey, Schwing, ask her if she's going to eat the rest of those." Well, she hears me, stops dead in her tracks, and is like, "Oh, you guys want these?" I was like, "No." We're fine on the nachos, ma'am. You didn't take the nachos? No, I did not. Because I, I don't know this lady. No way. Dude. Hey, we're at a Tyler Childers concert. If my wife seen out me eating fun. out of a partially... Really? You ate. think that's the worst oh, thing boy. of the she weekend in review? She'd that, been hot. Oh, there was someone gosh. in our crew that was inspecting the pizza boxes on top. Well, I did that on my way <laughs> to the car. <laughs> uh, <laughs> slice. There might have been. A, <laughs> I thought I was like, don't touch that. Yeah, David. We so we were walking out, and and there were some pizza boxes stacked up on top on top of one of the trash cans. And there I, might have been some beer drink people. I, I may or may not have scoped out to see if anybody. <laughs> maybe it just left one. Slice. You know, just left a slice. Maybe there was that one guy that didn't want to be the fatty patty and and and, and clean out the box. You know what I mean? And I. I was ready to be that guy. Yeah, it was. Um, I was in cruise control. I had a great <laughs> night. Um, it was just a blast. And then you know you turn around Saturday and you're in that uh, all inclusive box. And hey, and big shout out to AA Ron. AA Ron, our our bartender Aaron. Thirty years working for the Cardinals organization. Longer than that, if you count his time before the Navy. Yeah, spent yeah. some time in the owner's booth. I mean, Scott Spezio was two doors down. Yep. And he addressed our bartender by first name basis. And I thought that was pretty neat. Yeah. Made a hell of a drink. Oh God. He was <laughs> either he was trying to get real close to our our wives or he was trying to make sure that we got real close to them later. <laughs> well, and uh turns out neither would happen <laughs> no. for anybody. No, but uh-uh. we uh I think the cool thing of it is is you share this box with people and the old flash cat that was in there with the watch that Did looked you like see it was that guy? Dragging. Yeah. And he had issues with his mother-in-law, yeah. his sister-in-law, yeah. his wife. and he said it's hell when you used to have money. Yeah. They just hate you now. And then he <laughs> said something like, hey, when we first get in there, he's like, hey, you guys, uh, I'm probably going to be that guy. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean by that guy? I'm probably going to be that guy. And Schwinghammer's like, I'm pretty sure I'll give you a run for your money, pal. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure you know what tree you're trying to bark up, but I, overall, the, car, the game sucked. Because the uh, Redbirds, Reds won. Yeah, the Redbirds took it on the chin. But we got to watch the rookie play. Yeah. That kid's a giant. Uh, he's a freak. Yeah, six seven, fastest kid in the, in the whole MLB. Let's, in the whole world. He yeah, might be the fastest kid in the whole world. I don't know about the whole world, but that dude's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I bet I ate 15 plates of nachos. I don't think I've ever seen anybody consume as much nacho cheese as your wife did. She got after it. Yeah, and and that was awesome. I was killing those brats. It was a feat of uh, <laughs> absolute, uh, like, Joey Chestnut level stuff. Hey, like Aaron said, if you're going to pay for the seat, you got to get it in. Yeah, you gotta, gotta we got it in. And I, like, I think at one point I had so many jalapenos on one chip that A-Hole thought that it was a Prilosec OTC commercial. Yeah. And... He wasn't wrong. May or may not be still oh, paying. Oh, what that. are those daggone heartburn? What? Gaviscons. Yeah. Justine yeah. and I, yeah, we were railing up Gaviscons. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me one of those. She's like, no, it gets foamy. But after the fact that I took it, I was like. Oh, it was like we ate, we ate like chalk. <laughs> chalk. Uh, key lime pie. shaving cream. Key lime pie. <laughs> I don't know why that. She <laughs> said key lime pie. No, that's what why somebody said. Why is that relevant? Yeah, that I don't is know. Relevant. It was like chalk. And it foams like Alka-Seltzer chalk, and it's disgusting, but my wife always carries Gaviscon, so if you need anything. In her little clear purse. In her little clear purse. That's she. Yeah, we had uh, we had a blast, though. It was good. Uh, Janelle has finally listened to the podcast. Yeah! Really? Yeah, because on... Did you force her into yeah, it? Yeah, because I, I, <laughs> I always listen to the show, watch listen and watch the show on Fridays, and um, just kind of game tape review. You know, you don't get better if you don't... Yeah. Swinghammer was like, "Hey, I haven't I haven't listened to uh, 132 yet. Can we listen to that on the way there?" And Justin's like, "Yeah, go ahead. I'll just put my earbuds in." <laughs> <laughs> God, what a savage! Yeah, that is tough. So, uh, other than that, I think that covers it for us. Anybody else yeah. got anything they want to add? Uh, I mean, Arlo, did you do anything last week? Yeah, what'd you do, Arlo? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, pal. Wow. <laughs> He was well, at the, he was hey, at the, guys, Arlo's here tonight. <laughs> hey. hey. Wow, that sounded deflated. You know what it is? It just means one less glizzy for all of us. Oh. I mean, you, it the, looks like you put a bunch on there. Well, we got a whole pack plus plenty. some hot links in there that I smudged up. Those are going to be rough. 
Wait, are those the hot links? Those are the hot links. Oh, boy. No, we need to stay away from those. Those are the mat links. Yeah. I'll, I'll eat one. You're not going to tell us which it is, are you? I'm pretty chafed up. No, we. Uh, be I haven't fine. been able to, to be beginning. here for a while. Oh, yeah. No, you haven't. You what? Well, you guys are. I mean, I always have my boys, it seems like, yeah. when we're I know. It's we're tough spot, so. but we'll figure well, it out. Well, it's good for you to be there for your boys. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, yeah. hey, I just want to say I miss you guys. Somebody had to go too, back buddy. to grad school and screw up our Thursday night. Yeah. But it's all right. Wow. We'll and work through it. Grad school. Grad school. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm trying to better myself. We're glad to family. have you, Arlo. Glad Next to have time you back you in the lab. better yourself. Check to be sure it doesn't screw up the rest of our lives. <laughs> Oh my I'm goodness! God, that this, was is hard. A, this is a mar- this is a marriage. Shots <laughs> fired. Hey, the good news is, next spring and summer, those are all online. So we're so, good for a, st- a stretch. Yeah, it's online now. Have you learned? Well, have but, you learned anything? Yeah. Um, I have learned that. Um, you know, it might be a topic, but. I have learned how much you forget and how much academia has changed uh, online. Like, I like all this stuff being online like it is, it is a baffling to me. On demand it, online, or is it you, no, you, you log in? You have to log in for it, but like, just like you're working with other students that are in other places and. You know the teams and doing this online and posting this online. Yeah, like study groups, just posting that, with that those. and yeah. it's it's just weird. Like I'm so used to being in person and doing it. Have you found Facebook groups of people that have been either been through you the program or that are currently in the program that you're following and like reading their message boards and? Uh, I haven't gotten that deep. Oh yeah, there. I mean, probably, you, you, probably you could look pro- into that. You could probably find them because Justine did. And like they was, there was several Facebook groups, and like other people were like they had message boards, and they were bitching about the teachers or talking about the yeah. exams, well, it did. And the quizzes. It, like and last that. week, it got into that a little bit because we had, so we had that test last week, which would have been two weeks when we hear this, and like there was people like, I'm not even focused on what he's talking about. Like we've <laughs> got a first exam tomorrow, <laughs> uh, or that's opened up for the weekend, so. Yeah, it's uh, it's been good. Um, stats is not my strong suit. That's okay. Um, That's but okay. Uh, okay. you okay. know, we busted a ninety nine point four on the first degree. Did you? Yeah, yeah, baby. Now he the was next worried one could to be death. A, no, I wasn't. The drive, oh, bull the drive across Southern Ill- like Janelle's like, are you going to be okay, or is it going to bother you all weekend? And I said, you know what. It is what it is. It baby. is what it is. Let's ride. I said that's Broncos why. I, that's country. why I did it on Friday. I got it done because I talked about doing it Sunday evening. Yikes! And I was like, that would have been brutal to wait till then. So, I think that's going to be the move, though. I'm going to take them first thing on Friday. Let Solid. them be done. Solid. And just be over it. So, hey, you ready? Yeah, let's get into it. Let's strap up. We never hey. really heard what Arlo. No, no, he says he's been spending time with his boys. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's no, his, he's done. I'm good. He's okay. done. Yeah. He's done. He's done. Okay, David. Okay. He's, he's all right. He's ready to go. By the way. The clip of <laughs> you were swinging and you interrupted him in his backswing and says, Hey, let me ask you a quick question before you swing. Oh, really? God, I died laughing oh. today. I died laughing. Yeah. Anyway. We, uh, hot, 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 uh, big, big, big day today. Yeah. Uh, first episode of, I don't know why I said that. First hour of the show is brought to you by our friend Kyle Kelly, the owner and operator of Kelly's Auto Service and Repair. If you just simply have a pesky service engine light on, or if you've got oil running out of the bottom of your car, give Kyle a call for all of your automotive needs. You can call him at 812-630-5297. He's conveniently located in Huntingburg, Indiana, and he is ready to get you back on the road. Give our buddy Kyle a call and tell him the Dutchman sent you. We appreciate you. I know he's bailed me out a bunch. Well, that's true. We got big fella. Okay. So the other day at work, driving down the road, and it hit me like a ton of bricks. Mm. And I was thinking to myself, what, in your opinion, is the most recognizable smell that you could think of, whether it would be a food Not where I thought you were going. or chemicals or natural smells, etc. Like if you smell something in the wild. Coffee. 
Okay. So there's, it's going to be, this is going to kind of be more of a list. <laughs> and we're probably all going to agree on them. So that we can we can almost kind of rapid fire this too, but like rotting trash. Oh God, yeah. But like recognizable smells, like trash. I think is pretty broad. You know what I mean? You like, smell a trash bag that's got the maggots in it in a July day. That is as recognizable as it gets. Now, would you say that there's a difference between rotting trash in a dumpster and like a roadkill that's laying on the side of the road? Yes, a hundred percent right. It's a okay. very distinct smell. All right. When I was driving down the road, skunks. Skunks. There it is. So mine was going to be skunk. Number one would be skunk because just south of the lounge on Highway 161, there lay a freshly killed skunk on the highway up Ooh. here. On <clears throat> Monday, when I was coming home from getting the boys, Mama Skunk and two, maybe three baby skunks were... They're living under the shop here. Oh, good. Dug out. <clears throat> so if you go back here and hear a rustling in the okay. weeds while you're pissing, like run. Well, mm. don't just don't make any threatening noise. Good deal. <clears throat> when I was coming to work Monday morning, <laughs> wait. So there's a skunk living under the shop. Yeah, it's happened before. They got all the it's gravel no dug deal. out. You, you can. They're nested. Yeah, you can. Oh. Skunks we, under the shop. We've and found snakes them. in the house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of a problem. You can. It's okay. There, as long as you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you. Yeah, we deal with them quite a bit. Anyway, I hit the skunk of oh, the dead skunk. Yeah, the dead yep, skunk. I've been there. Hit it square. That's a tough spot. My car still stinks. It's Wednesday. Yeah, and I've been through the car wash. Trying to eliminate. Yeah, yeah, went up to the carpool up there and tried to get her cleaned up. I don't know if you can say that's a recognizable smell. Skunk. Yeah, it's a pretty recognizable smell. I don't know. We was at a <laughs> as a concert in Missouri, and uh, you could have convinced me there was ten or twelve gaggles of skunks. Oh, right well, there. yeah. <laughs> hey, that is honestly probably another recognizable smell. Pretty similar. Yeah, marijuana. Yeah, very. Uh, here, we'll, we'll bring the, rip that band aid off. <laughs> anyway, I was driving down the street, and it was bacon. Merkley's bacon frying in a pan. Yeah, some like that just grabs you up. Yeah. Or when we were working on, we were working behind the gaslight. Ooh. And the gaslight, the way the wind blew, we were working kind of just the shade east towards the highway of the gaslight in that same alley. But Mama T's, which, unbelievable. Yeah. Like the, the, like the garlic. Oh, yeah. And the butter, like the asparagus, like that. You could smell it. And like, you know, you, you, what are you cooking? I was grilling asparagus, man, getting ready. You know, and I'm like, I freaking knew it. You know what I mean? But like, other than the things that we've noticed, is there anything that we're missing? Like, what what do you think? Your patchouli. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, By the way, my worst. My wife hates it. I think. Uh, I think after spending the weekend with you two, I think you guys do just enough stuff to hate each other and then make up. It's a great little cycle that you guys have going on. Pretty tough spot, really. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say like a beer. I think a beer is a very recognizable smell. That's good. Um, That's good. good like idea. vodka. Huh? Yeah. That's. I guess I never sniff beer. I just drink it. Vodka was supposed to be like scentless. Well, you smell well, vodka out of the bottle. Yeah, but if I put like... Rubbing alcohol in vodka? Well, that's what I was mm. thinking is like it's... You know, like if I opened a Sharpie and stuck it under your nose. Ooh, Sharpie would be one, too. Oh, yeah. that. Or what about, do they still make the big fat gasoline uh, Gas markers right. or whatever? Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Hey, here's a recognizable smell. From my childhood, my grandpa smoked cigars. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I can smell a cigar like a mile away. Pipes. Mm. Pipe <laughs> smoke oh, yeah. smell. Cigarettes. A coal fire. Mm. <laughs> What? Grandma and Grandpa heated their house with coal, with coal yeah. when I was a kid. Yeah, that shit stinks. And I, Well, I didn't realize that I knew that smell until I moved down here to coal there was, country. There's, I was me. around a coal fire. Oh, okay. Oh, I was like, oh yeah, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, wait a minute. And the old meth cattle back down <laughs> over the hill here. <laughs> I was like, that takes me back to 1987. <laughs> oh, geez. I uh, didn't know that was a thing. And uh, 
kerosene so, heaters. Yeah, that smells. But like I think Christmas. I have. I think I have a pretty, and I think you guys probably do Ooh, too. Fresh cut pines. I was supposed to say. I think we have when a, they clean out the cow barn and you get that like kind of sweet shitty smell coming. Oh, from. oh turkeys, oh, God. not turkeys, moth not balls. turkeys, moth. Balls. Oh yeah, uh, Vicks vapor rub. Old oh, yeah. people. <laughs> Peanut, <laughs> hey, peanut butter it smells like pre death. <laughs> oh God, Golden Corral. I was thinking now, <laughs> McDonald's fries. I think we all have they a pretty, smell? pretty good. Well, uh, you can smell the fryer oil when you drive around. Pretty uh, good grasp on on this skill. But have you ever been with someone that it is so obvious what it is, and they're like, "Oh my God, what's that smell?" Oh, they're like nose naive. Or they're or they're smell blind, mm. but it's like you you know like it's so recognizable. Yeah. Like whether it's a skunk or you know if it's uh, you know something that might not be like I don't know you know what I mean like like garlic or you know something of that nature, and then somebody's like what in the hell is that? And then everybody's like, huh? <laughs> that's turkey shit, <laughs> or that's. <laughs> But you know, there's a huge distinction and a very large, uh, yeah, marijuana. There's a large difference between turkey shit, hog shit, oh yeah, and cow yeah. shit. Oh, I can tell you which is which. Turkey shit smells awful. It's terrible. The ammonia. The That's what it is. Shit, the the amount of ammonia that yeah, is yeah, but I'd say shit. hogs is just it's as bad. no, no, yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying not just as bad, but like hog shit is something that you cannot get off of you. Because there's so much oil in hog shit that it, it like, it'll get in you. It'll get in your pores. I had to follow a guy when I worked at the mine. I had to follow a feller that may or may not have raised a few hogs. Mm. I, was on the day, I was on the night shift, and he was on the day shift. And it smelt like straight ass hog shit in, in that your uh, dozer. In that, in that, I'll just say vehicle. I don't oh. want to. I don't. I want to paint with a broad brush because I don't. Oh, I don't yeah. want to single nobody out. Wide but it stunk. Brush. It yeah. stunk real That's bad. Tough. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, I I've think been cigarettes. I have some hogs down. Oh, now see cigarettes. How about a Zippo lighter? Oh, Good. like Good. lighter fluid. Wintergreen chewing tobacco. Oh yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 Hey, like, like there's a I'm lot more of, of a mint chewing tobacco guy when I oh, smell. See, it I takes like... me right back to 2003 at my buddy Max McLean, friend of the show. Uh, Shout out Max. That's right. Uh, but mint chewing tobacco just takes me back to his. That's place what my dad chews. Is like uh, I can't remember what it's skull, but it's it's the blue can. It's like um, mint, mint. But there's a name before mint though, isn't it? Arctic. There used to be like skull frost. No, back there in was the day, skull was I thought your dad was a I, skull mint. I thought your dad was a pouch or not a pouch guy, but like a red man or no. He it was like, gosh damn it! It's the blue cans of skull. Anyway, it's mint, long cut. mint, yeah, long it was cut, mint, mint, long cut, yeah, there you yeah. Go. long cut, long. And he cut. may he switched around a pack like. So me and Nobby, my buddy Nobby, me and Nobby always would rotate amongst the green, the blue, and the red. We would always chew wintergreen. And then we'd switch to mint, and then go to ch- and then we'd go to straight. Oh, straight, there you go. And then we would, you know, cut cherry. <laughs> God, right that, I worked with a dude cherry. that, God, skull cherry. Oh, do you remember when they used terrible. to have, like, peach, oh. green apple? Yeah. How about the farm machinery show, going to get Son those half of of bucks. <laughs> Just bags oh, full man. of We would hands. come back yeah. with you. Yeah, hey, our, that's a whole nother topic. Yeah. God. Shout out Dave Ring. <laughs> Boy, he really thought if we would pull the wool right over his eyes, we'd come back with, like, 45 cans per kid. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're giving away logs. They're giving away whole logs over to Timberwolf booth. Yeah, I know. I've already been through there six times. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it, I'd say it probably doesn't happen anymore. No, I probably not. No. Gosh dang it. What? It's just a bummer. Yeah. No more chew. <laughs> hey, I feel like now. What the hell are our kids going to talk about? Well, no, now they. Um, that cool video game. What the hell? Hey, you remember the, that? Vape? Vapes, jewel vapes. pods, the old douche flutes. I always, <laughs> I always <laughs> joke with my brother. I'm always like, "Is that a hard drive?" And then he's like, <laughs> "Yeah, that's why I said it's like a flash drive stick." You know what I mean? No. Oh man, what about those ones that like the guys that got like the, the batteries the size of a deck of cards? Oh yeah. And it looks like some sort of like bee fogging machine every time they take. And then a big they do, rip. Then they do their smoky trick. Yeah, the big old ball. Yeah. They, <laughs> 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 
I don't a, know. It's, I d- a, it's a shame. Wow, we have just, really. What the hell is this stuff? Well, smells. about smells, and I, I yeah. just, I don't know. For some reason, the other day I was driving right, right, just beelining on back there at a chop for lunchtime, and it was like they were they were cooking some shit there right around Fourth Street, and I was like, that's bacon, hands down. And yeah. I just like I just immediately thought to myself, man, that would be a good one because there's a lot of like really distinct smells that people like majority of people would know. And I just think I just I just wanted to kind of man I think I was maybe wondering about it. a cool episode we just need to get in your mom's spaceship van oh yeah mount three or four cameras in there and we just need to go for a drive for three hours in one direction <laughs> yeah turn around and come I back have a few, I have a few GoPros oh. and, then, and then I God. feel like at the end of it the audio there might would be, be tough, but. well we, that room's on batteries oh true uh, we can my, mom's, there, my mom's van has, has a, a one ten plug, plug in it. Yeah. So we could take the glizzy machine. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> he literally talked about taking the glizzy machine and plugging it into Jenna's van <laughs> en route to the hotel. Listen, I bought all of those glizzies and we didn't eat a single one. Yeah, turns Buddy, out. I couldn't have fit another glizzy after Saturday. I Saturdays. dragged <laughs> them damn things all over God's green earth. Across three damn states. And we didn't and eat back. a single well, Damn I would have been more than happy to plug it into my room, but the warden said absolutely not because she wasn't having everything that we own for the entire weekend. <laughs> smell like, smell like hot dogs for <laughs> it would have been all right. two days. It How long do they right. take to cook on there? Oh, they're ready to oh, go right they're now. Ready to go. Guaranteed. Yeah. But you have to wait. Till well, it's it's long, like, normally, I warm it up first, like I cook it, and I, or, pardon me. I turn it on, let the wheels get hot. Yeah, and then it don't take too Does long. It sizzle when you put them on there, like no, no it, we're not. Get it's a slow cooker. Yeah, yeah. like See, all I'd have to do, like, like you can make it hot. It smells like sometime it. about I got no smells right a, right smell. around. So usually when we get about three quarters of the way f- through David's topic, right before the pause, I'll just kind. I know you haven't been here for a while. So no, I edit, I edited the last one. I watched you guys. <laughs> yeah, so I just kind of sneak <laughs> back and crank that baby up. That way, when we take our pause, it's smash time. Smash City. Yeah. Anyway, Casey, what you got, man? Okay, so what I was thinking about, I don't know where I was at, but uh, I saw a youngster driving in a vehicle. Or no, I saw somebody in a minivan. And I was like, you know, if a guy had a minivan back when he was 16, you got plenty of room for the boys. You can fold the seats down and you got all the storage space in the world. Decent fuel mileage. You know, like all these things that you could do. Terrible. And I was like, would you rethink no. your vehicle of choice at 16? Terrible. Terrible. There is one. no, there is no humanly way possible <coughs> that if I went back in time, my parents would have allowed 16 year old me to be the pilot of a seven passenger vehicle. Well, mm. but that, see, I want to because there is yeah. no way. I, I remember you driving. No. Actually, I can still think of you driving now. It's tough. <laughs> and we made a phone call, <laughs> and uh, I love you, it was it was a pretty animated. <laughs> Apparently, you guys are following a log truck or a power. Oh pole. my god! <laughs> uh, Mace about killed everybody. No, here, there here was a it was a it was a vehicle. Uh, it was a truck, like an electric, uh, like a bucket truck that had a uh, uh, like a pole trailer behind it, and there was about thirty seven feet of pole sticking out of the back of the trailer, and I was just in the same lane as it. Well, and my our wife, generation has seen Final Destination. Yes, and Justine like went into like instant get the hell away from that car mode, and I'm like, I can't. There's vehicles <laughs> on both sides of me. I cannot lane merge. And <laughs> she saw the end. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was gonna die. Turns out, yeah. Anyway, but no, I, I man, I, I yeah, I would have totally drove a van when I was that. Yeah, age. I, I mean, I get like your pragmatism about I wouldn't let my kids do it. I'm taking that out of the equation. Uh, just because you say pragmatism, pragmatism, like the practical thinking of saying I wouldn't allow a teenager pragmatic. To Tism, prag- no. pragmatism, I think. Yeah, prag- wow. no, it's not. Arlo, check that out. He's dumb bad. Pragmatic, <laughs> dumb bad. Pragmatism. There it is. Simpleton. I never thought this would be my job on the podcast. Well, we haven't had you for a month, so we got to try to break you well, back in here a little we bit. We got to fact check some stuff. Well, All but right. anyways, so I get that, but I mean, that was the point of like, how cool would that have been? Like, oh my god, I, I just think like it would be. So I had an '88 Ford Ranger. It didn't run. 
very well. It had to get fixed for a bit. And while it was getting fixed, I drove my mom's 1998 Champagne Ford Windstar. Had that four liter V6 in it. Oh my! And uh, we could we could pile them in there. And that yeah. thing was a one wheel peeling S O B. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like we maybe this topic was more about like. Minivans as a 16-year-old make a lot of sense. Now, I had a buddy that had a, I'm going to screw this up. A, no, I'm not. A G10. Is that the van? The full-size, like, conversion van? Chevy van is a G10. The Maybe. Trucks are C10s. He put this big old dumpster crusher bumper on it and had a couch in the back what and a TV. The dumpster crusher? Richmond's, yes. Richmond's a little more um, <laughs> city than this. Okay. And so... They just cruise down alleys, smashing people's dumpsters, like you know the green velvet dumpster. Uh huh. They just go down an alley and just smash dumpsters. It, so he was an terrible. asshole. That's terrible. Yeah. Okay. That's but the minivan. The other thing we did a lot, the 4H crew, we'd go to all them drive. Was that movies. harsh? <laughs> no, I, I would be totally pissed. It smokes if friend. some little pip squeak <laughs> smashed no, not, not my damn dumpster. Friend. I can't even think of his name, but I just know. I mean, I don't mean to dog one of your buddies, but that wasn't a buddy. I, I would have been a mad a bastard long. if if my. Dumpster was smashed. Yeah. Uh, but we could pile all sorts of people in for the drive in movies and go up there. Yeah. yeah. Now, Justine's friend. But I like the pickup truck bed better because we'd put a little couch back there. Is this yeah. what it looked like? That's yeah, a that's G- a G10. That's a G10. Yep. Oh, my. Now, that's just the like, one out of like, just, like uh, picture the guy. Well, but not Scooby the purple pur- pur- one. Team. <laughs> His is great. Team. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. The mystery machine. But I was driving at 98 Windstar and it was. Yeah, I just Justine, think it, there was think a girl that in our class that had one. She drove she drove a van, and they they used to tear the piss out of that. See, van. now it wouldn't be fun if like they allowed you to drive a minivan, but you had to like pick up the kids and all that other shit. Like this is basically just for hey, it's an all you can eat wings night and Hooters. That's so that was my story. Adam Wright, yeah, buddy of the show, yeah, my another buddy. program. Adam Wright, his his parents. I think his dad actually still has it. And I think it was a – man, I'm going to botch this up. But I, it may have been a, like a Ford Econoline with – Yeah. That's or it might have been a Chevy. I don't know what the hell it was. It's a Ford, I think. It was a big, like, tan, stripey Had looking – TV in it. Oh, yeah. The fluffy Little chairs. seven-inch in the top. Wood fluffy grain, chairs, the wooden cup holders, the whole works. And chairs we, that spin around in the middle. Yeah, we oh, drove that son bitch to Hooters literally like every week. Why don't they make those anymore? I don't know. Conversion – they make conversion vans. No, like not they, like that. No, they something. swapped them to like the not Nissan, like, like the like I've been, I may or may not have been looking at like the Nissan NVs, like those big, uh, like what old Cordo drives, but Nissan. No, like they kind of look maybe like uh, like a free candy van or whatever, but they <laughs> free yeah. candy, free puppies, free hugs. Yeah, but anyway, you can haul a lot of kids in that sucker, and I mean that like taking them to sporting events and not to the uh, uh, free candy. Yeah. Tri- I, yeah. Man, I tell you what, I've never been more convinced to buy, compelled to buy a van until just now when I thought that we could all ride together. That would be awesome. There is no chance I'm traveling with you guys. Why? I just I think my warden and his warden, we just stick them in the back as yeah. far as it can go. You just sit back it there. It was about 25 minutes before <laughs> we were getting ready to leave on Friday afternoon, and Dave texted, and he said, man, we really screwed up. <laughs> He said, we should have thought this way through more. We, there, we should have totally had like a gal's van and a guy's van yeah. because this is going to suck. I I am probably not the easiest to drive with because uh. I travel with. <laughs> Imagine that. You don't even shock her. <laughs> we get in and we go. And my wife has become accustomed to it. I am the son of a truck driver. You get in, you go. We don't We don't stop to smell the roses. We got a destination to get to. We're eastbound and down. How fast do you drive? I am a consistent five to seven over guy, especially depending on certain areas. Hmm. Like when we go to that landfill down. How about you? Go eighty-five. Dang. Okay, that's quick. How about yeah, I you? couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, I'm, I'm seventy-five to eighty in a seventy mile an hour zone. Okay. I'm usually like I hover at seventy-nine or eighty because if I'm, I'm like if it's nine. Eh. All the way to Colorado. Another friend of the show. Uh, Oh, Nate Dog, on Nate Cam, and he's, what do he say? Wiggy Boo. He's, <laughs> he said seven is fine, but eight you're mine, and we just stuck to. I that. think it's seven you're fine, or uh, say seven you're mine, nine you're mine. 
Well, seven, you said, you're fine. Nine, you're mine. Whatever. It hit me. So what about eight? Eight? I say that it's absolutely I it, virtually eight is a uh, officer's description. Like, I think I think it's virtually impossible to get pulled over in the interstate unless you're doing like mock Jesus. That's not true. I think it is. I think as long as you're going with the flow of traffic. I drove the interstate every day of the week for Jesus ten years, and I. I don't think I ever got pulled over on the interstate. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she, yeah, knock on wood, but she has. She's been pulled over once or twice. By an officer? Yes. That they, was sitting at a spot? Yeah. That where they sit and they patrol? Yeah. And they pull over people all the time? Yeah. I mean, they could, but I just, I guess I got lucky. I don't know. Maybe their gun wasn't calibrated or something. Maybe that's, is that way to get out of it? Maybe the green. No, I don't know how they. Maybe the green machine, uh, the old. Turdo, maybe she, Tanya. She just blended into the wood, the what, foliage. I wonder if that's true. If they have to All calibrate rust, their guns every morning, they have like some kind of pitchfork tuner. What? Seriously? Yeah. A tuning yeah. fork? Yeah. I don't think that. No, you're. True. I don't know. Okay. That's, that's not how radar. Radar. <laughs> No, that's, that's not how you works. summon spirits and get ready to do <laughs> yoga. Yeah. Push the, push the sage down. All right, smoke. We got. Is it my turn? Yeah. Uh, this, for 34 episodes, you have yep. followed me. Yep, 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 yep. All right, guys, this oh, is going to get crazy. We're going down a rabbit hole. Oh, boy. It like been Helen a... Keller ra- rabbit hole? Or... No, 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 no. Everybody's going to want to know what that's all about one of these days. Right? Helen Keller. <laughs> one of these days, they're going to want to know. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll see our way through it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but yeah. we're not going to talk about it Straight too much. to jail. <laughs> <laughs> so. Scrappy her dogs. Big t- Are you going to do some shirts? You going to talk to uh, Brandon by Woods and get some Tourney Champ shirts? No, because. Man, I'd really rub it into Brandon. I was going to say, she, she didn't take it very good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brandy. So I saw this morning, I was going through the face space, and uh, one of those targeted ads came up. Uh, we're Disney Plus people here on the Hill. And it's for a new Disney movie coming out in 2024. And this movie is about an intergalactic committee that makes contact with Earth. Okay. Like bunches of different alien races. And they make contact with Earth uh, for whatever reason. And then, last week, or a week and a half ago, I don't know. I'm not going to try to try and travel when this episode airs. But in the last week or so, there's been in the news a retired fella from the Pentagon that was talking oh, about all of yeah. these uh, spacecraft that have been recovered uh, that the government's hiding, and one of them was uh, operational. And he just said, well, somebody had to fly it. You know? And then, in Vegas this last week, some police officers were watching their posts, and they seen something weird in the sky. Oh, it's a shooting star, but it's hanging around a long time. And shortly thereafter, somebody calls... Hey, there's something in my backyard, and I'm at my window, and there is like this creature, eight, nine, ten foot tall, big eyes, weird mouth, staring at me. So they rounded up and. Sir, that's your wife. <laughs> oh. I'm just saying, this last week has been pretty crazy on the uh, extraterrestrial beast. So we. Chart. Jimmy Kramer, we need to talk to him. Oh, God. Well, but you know what they're not talking they're There's a lot of. Oh, I'm not going to do no, it. Oh, you're trying go. to dive down I'm the not politics hole. I, no, I'm not going to. But I mean, but not yeah. only that. So now we're not talking about the politics because we're talking about the aliens. And we're not talking about the Ukraine Russia situation. No. Oh, we're not China, talking about the Taiwan situation. Oh, yeah. boy. Which that's pretty spooky. Yeah. There's lots of situations. Our buddy A hole. Real spooky. Yeah. But I. So I guess my question is okay, that's a good way. That is actually a good way to round up my thought. Do you think. This is all bogus Could bullshit. Could it be a situation? <laughs> or do you really think that in the whole universe and all of everything that it's just us? We're just a grain of sand, boys. Listen, in a big you really ass think that box. there's nothing else out there? I mean, I don't. I, I here's what I will hey, say. Come is, on, is it what? Drink the Kool Aid. No, come on, come on, <laughs> come on, dude. Just uh, drink hey, it. Hey, I'm already going to that Sasquatch hunting presentation. Yes, <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes, <laughs> these guys. You're going? No, I'm nice. not going. I think I'm. If I'll go. Oh God, if I can lend them in your luck, they'll make you president, bud. Uh, that's exactly what I need. Look like him. Um, <laughs> I here's the, feels <laughs> like him. Here's what I think, Dave, and it may be <laughs> rotting uh, head in the sand kind of thing. 
But unless they're knocking on Earth's door to come attack and kill us all, if they're out there, they're out there. Congratulations. If they ain't, they ain't. Okay. Okay. What yeah. happens now? Does this? Okay. The um man, we're so, only four minutes in. We got plenty. Of I'm time. all in. You think it's real? Yeah. Do you have you ever heard of Mufon? Uh, we talked about this. Uh, We've talked about it before, dude. Like, there's people that follow our show that are all in as well. But I mean, like, there's there is. Oh my God! Just to, statistically speaking, yes, as big as everything is, and there's as I much as I we can disagree, see. Disagree, but like, there's got to be something out there now. How many how many firsthand testimonials have you read about or seen on the internet? Which I know everything on the internet has to be true, but like how many how many videos have leaked from like fighter pilots? You've got people or, that don't believe we landed on the freaking moon, no, you're and right. you think we've got you're right, but yet you'll believe in aliens. Yeah, like we've got drone oh, operators sure. in the military that have seen things unworldly that are like I think there's holy shit. What I is shouldn't that? say I don't believe we landed on the moon. I, d- I don't believe we've been given the full story of oh my gosh because there's no way we spend all the money to go to the moon, walk on it for twelve seconds, and that's it. 12 seconds. Okay, 14 minutes. But you can't tell me I haven't been back trying to rape it for whatever it's worth. Look what we do to Earth. <laughs> you know we're digging into it it's trying pretty to see what's there. There wasn't, there wasn't oil on the moon. Now, how the hell do you know that? Know. How would you know that? You got because x-ray oil, vision, well, Superman? Oil's made of oil? dead dinosaurs, right? How do you know when dinosaurs on the moon? Now, the dinosaurs. Well, the, the, little the, the, Moonosaurus is up there. You don't know. We would never know from a 14 minute walk. What You'd if, have to dig it What around. if it's actually solid, leaks of, solid gold? Leaks of intact spacecraft, alien sighting in Vegas, Disney releasing a movie about first contact being made with an intergalactic kegger. <laughs> My thing is, boys, if you don't, I mean, I don't know. Like, I have never firsthand seen an alien. A gray uh, a reptilian. I've never seen anybody's <laughs> eyelids blink this way instead of this way. You don't even know if they'd have eyes, though. Well, I don't know. That's you, something you have because do. we need it here. Oh, but on the a hills planet, do. have you seen that movie? It's creepy as shit. On a yeah. planet far original, enough away from the sun, why would they need eyes if there's no light to see anyway? Oh boy. Do you think everyone? You think the there's aliens the in men. Uranus? <laughs> 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 Do you think everyone got your Men in Black reference there? That was they hilarious. Don't. They don't. That was yeah. so good, man. I'm not trying to host an intergalactic kegger. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, man, I, I'm all in on it. And I always have been. because hey, I've listened to Arlo for catching a movie yeah. reference. He got it. He got it. Yeah, yeah boy. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm an egger. Sugar. Water. What's the matter with your egger? Your skin's hanging off your bones. Come on. You I don't know. know I get it. <laughs> I've listened to a lot of, like, alternative media and a lot of conspiracy stuff, and like Dave may or not got a lesson on the Anunnaki a lot of week ago, but I'm just saying, like I, I've always been in on it, and I've always going to be in on it. One of these days, hopefully, I'll make a trip back out west, and maybe go to the observatory and and mighty inner, you know, uh, reconnect with my inner nerd, and like you know, just kind of. I was do actually some, thinking today that I need a big ass telescope. I had one when I was a kid. My parents bought like one. I want one of those big hundred and sixty. Uh, you know, like CC yeah. millimeter, I millimeter, yeah, I think CC. That's yeah. Funny. yeah. But anyway, yeah, no, I just, I don't know, man. I mean, if it is, it is. It's cool. I just, so I mean, like, like I don't know how CIA, black ops, yeah. Sector Seven. Surely you've seen Transformers. I mean, there's yeah. got to be something. There's a lot of people. There's the a lot Disney, of the Disney movie tying in really kicked it over the curb for me today. Yeah. I don't know why that spurns you so much more because it's Disney. Well, because they know how many people are watching, and that's a good way to get people on on the right track. That See, but wouldn't you be able to say the opposite? Wouldn't I be able to tell you the opposite of Dave? This is just some great marketing ploy to spurn interest in these movies because we all know that we're dummies for certain things. Or it could be like, hey, we got to start uh, warming these people up to the fact that Shit's getting real. Yeah. I'm trying to find this episode or this this documentary on Good night. It might be too late. On Netflix that is literally about a guy that worked like he was a an astrophysicist that worked at Area 51. I watched it. I know. That's what I'm saying, dude. And like like they so like one of the crafts that they recovered, like the propulsion, like like the the components 
and the things that like the propulsion that it used was just absolutely unworldly like it was but it, like they physically had it in their hands and like he was on like a 30 or 40 year gag order and like you know it was a whole thing and either that was really good cin- cinematography or that son bitch was telling the truth either way like Had i don't sold yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I've been I, thinking all that that super speed travel yeah, was tied to you, frequency, but I think it's it, it's, it's today, space think and it's, time. I think it's resonance. It's space and time. Hey, not frequency. Spacecraft landed in the in your backyard. You were that person in Vegas. Oh God, what would you do? I'm going out there, Come brother. On. Would you start shooting? No. I mean, I'd be strapped and yeah. ready to rip, but. I think before that son of a bitch even before you even if I, before I even thought about pulling my fat finger, that mother effer would have had me dusted for even looking at him. You know what I mean? Like I, I yeah, there's and there's so much that could happen. Like you don't even there could be things that you don't even. What if notice. he come out well, like with a little globe scared. around his head? You know, you get scared and you're kind of like. Crap. Oh, I'd definitely be scared, but like something like that may be able to incinerate you with. You ever seen the movie The Third like, just Kind? Just thought about Fourth it, Kind. You know? The fourth kind, the Close Encounters. No, oh. like the movie. It's called The Fourth Kind. It's scary as shit. I don't like scary. Have you seen it? Before? Oh God, no. bless America. You strike me as this it's big awful. conspiracy. Casey's theory. really in on this topic, so I he think we need to keep. It. It I know. Going. Did you see him back away and scratch his leg? Like, yeah. is it, Casey he's is now it. like I am in most of the in debt. Like I just don't have much to add with he's sports. Out and like here I am. Like hey, say go. something, Casey. Yeah, yeah how, say something. How do you feel? Yeah, God, say go something, ahead. Maybe, Casey. maybe Casey will say something you in the next twenty minutes. You haven't said anything for this topic, <laughs> but I think I think I, I don't it's know, man. Hard to an old missile lips over here because I'm all in, and so is Dave. He's, yeah, he's, and he either get in the that. boat or get out of the boat. If they are, they are. If they are, they are. boat ride. <laughs> Dave, what time is it? It's about time for us to get to. Uh, you know, we've been working real hard. Yes, <laughs> it's about time for us to get to. You did know, you, we've been did working. Your, did, your mel- did your mouth salivate when he mm. said that? It was like mm. getting close. It's like Pavlov's dog. Yep. Mm. <laughs> the bell rang. <laughs> oh, it's glizzy time. <laughs> and you know who else has been working real hard? Who's that? Maxie's Barbershop. So let's take a pause for the cause brought to you by Maxie's Barbershop, a full service barbershop located right in the thick of it in Huntingburg, Indiana. The shop offers a variety of services, including traditional haircuts, beard trims, and much more. Jay Maxey, the owner of the shop, is committed to delivering exceptional service to his clients. The shop also offers a unique vacuum cut system that eliminates hair mess. Get them hairs cut and see Jay today. And you tell him the Dutchman sent you. We'll be, be right, right back. back. Hey, Wanders, Are you ready to elevate your grilling game to new heights? Then you need to hear about our fantastic sponsor, Southern Indiana Hardwoods. At Southern Indiana Hardwoods, they're passionate about all things grilling. They're your one-stop shop for everything Green Mountain Grills accessories, and pellets. But there's more. They're also the exclusive manufacturer for Green Mountain Grills brand pellets, ensuring the ultimate grilling experience. So why should you choose Southern Indiana Hardwoods for your next grill? Well, let me tell you. Not only do they offer an extensive selection of -of top-of-the-line grills and accessories, they also provide unparalleled customer service. And here's the cherry on top. Nick Merkley, the grill guru at Southern Indiana Hardwoods, goes the extra mile for his customers. So if you're located in Dubois County, Indiana, Nick will personally deliver any pellet grill to your doorstep absolutely free. No more worrying about transportation logistics. Nick's got you covered. But wait, there's even more. When you mention the Wandering Dutchman, Nick is going to hook you up with a special offer. Buy a grill from Nick at Southern Indiana Hardwoods and you'll receive three free bags of premium Green Mountain Grill brand pellets. It's the perfect way to kickstart your grilling adventures. Uh, don't settle for anything ordinary. Discover the exceptional quality and service that Southern Indiana Hardwoods provides. Visit their website or give Nick Merkley a call today and take your grilling to the next level. And the- we're back! Hey! Man, I Shout was out. jacked. Yeah, you So were- jacked! You're really getting after it there, pal. I really... I'm going to take a lot of flack for it, but... Uh, I don't even know if it'll be. We can't put too much of it due to copyright infringement. No, we can't. Nope. But I can share it as a story on. Oh yeah. Yeah. How was uh, How was the Facebook sesh there? It was good. Things are. Yeah. Things are going great. Appreciate I want to say the best thing about that is I took my headset off to throw away some trash, and I look back and you guys are just. <laughs> 
you're like nine out of ten in it. And but you, you can't, can't hear, hear anything. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the That's best. That's the best part about it. Because when like if somebody would walk into the door and they would like, what in the hell? They would grab their kids, turn around, and leave. And run. No. We are in the wrong place. No, and we've talked about it before, but that's essentially what one of those like DJ wireless headset uh things were. Yeah. Basically take your headset off and it's quiet. So huh. yeah. Just a bunch pretty, of people getting after. Wild. Yeah. Go ahead and save that for, for later. Yeah, a little because I'll put that piece of jerky right back in oh, there. So we can just go straight into the hour. It two. is time. Welcome back to the Welcome. second hour of our show. The Wandering Dutchman Podcast. Whoa. Where Sorry. none of us are Dutch. But That's here. my line. I know. I but you said, It's okay. okay. Hey, but before we dive in, let me tell you about our sponsor for this hour. Catering by Meyer. Oh, yeah. If you're looking for a delicious, hassle-free way to feed your guests at your next event, look no further than Catering by Meyer. They offer a variety of mouth-watering menus from appetizers to desserts. They can suit any taste or budget. Whether you need a casual buffet, a formal plate of dinner, or anything in between, Catering by Meyer has you covered. Catering by Meyer is the perfect choice for weddings, corporate events, birthdays, anniversaries, or any occasion that calls for great food and even better service. And maybe as a quick side note, you can get a little taste of that Catering by Meyer. Down there at the Bombers game. Down there at the Bombers games. Hey, guys, guess what? What's that? I got a side job. Oh, you do? What's that? Working for Catering by Meyer. What are you doing for them? Working at the Bombers game this Friday night. Nice. Saturday night. Saturday. I was yeah. going to say, we just tried to make plans for Friday, and you're like, I'm out. Oh, yeah, I can't because we're going to Marengo. But Saturday, come down to the Bombers field. What are you field. going to Marengo for? Softball tournament. Oh, because the, the, the junkyard, do- scrapyard dogs. No, this is it. Uh, oh, Indian oh. Hills. Travel ball. Oh. Travel ball, Dave. <laughs> Last night I let the liquor talk. Whoop, whoop. Anyway. Uh, my what do sec- you got? What do you got? Let's just jump right in it. So my second topic was something that I was thinking about, and it kind of goes in line with Casey's first topic. So I'm not trying to piggyback, but I've already had mine on the list first. I, I know, because I was talking to you on there at like 9.30 this morning. No, it was like 7.15. Oh, it was a couple hours after I got to work as well. Um, do kids, do kids, go, do kids go. go mudding anymore? Like in their trucks and tear their vehicles up? No, because they're driving nicer shit that we couldn't even imagine driving at 16. Right. Gas is too expensive. Lame-ass kids with their lame-ass problems and their lame-ass phones. Like video game. Mm. Man, I tell you what, that little two wheel drive ranger of mine. Did you get after it? <sighs> A little five speed four banger just <laughs> whap, 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 whap. It didn't it didn't do much, but it did all it could everywhere it could. You know the, what I mean? Literally there was a group of us that had four-wheel drive pickups. Hell yeah. I told my parents so I, the first vehicle I ever had was a nineteen eighty nine Buick LeSabre. And I, after I, I gra- remember, yeah, after I graduated out of that baby, I uh, I moved my way into a uh, late model Chevrolet four by four. <clears throat> White, wasn't it? Nope, brown. brown. The, brown, the, the, the one I hit the cow with, the the two tone brown one that was That's loud. That's why I was thinking shit. it was white. I had it during football. You had the you had the uh, PA system in there, didn't you? Yeah, no, that was in the. Well, yes, I did. Yes, I had a PA system in the old Danger Ranger. Yeah, but anyway, we, every every. Oh, <laughs> oh God! God. Over. I perfected that cop car noise. I guarantee it. Do it again. Strobe lights in the. Do it again. Back every when I time, thought that was better than drinking with your buddies underage was committing, you know, felonies by yeah, impersonating, impersonating a police officer. <laughs> officer. <laughs> what are you going to do? Every time it would rain, like, we would all just get excited. Oh, man. Like, we would all just get flat fired up. Oh, because yeah. Because we, we would get, like, I had, mine was an 88 Chevy Cheyenne. With steel radial mud kings, hell yeah! And they, it sounded like a tractor going down the road. Wow, wow, wow! My buddy, wah, wah, wah. another buddy of mine, uh, Cam Wortman, he had a S10 ZR2. ZR2. I remember the thing with the tires sticking out, and it out. had TSL Super Swamper boggers on it. <laughs> that literally had like, you know what boggers look like? Oh yeah, directional tread 
like literally they were tractor tires. And I do believe at one point during football season, Cam Wortman had grass growing on the roof of his truck. Because that thing, you ever, you know, like when you're, when you're mudding, right, and you're slinging mud. All the sawed up under the bumper. Yeah, like when you're you're getting it, like the, the the glob of mud that's flying through the air. Do you know what those are referred to? Potatoes. Taters. Yeah, yeah you're slinging taters. And this truck would literally pile. His face is like a kid at Christmas. <laughs> Dude, I loved, I loved it. it. I loved it, man. We had so much. My parents hated my I'm telling guts. you right now, when I moved down here and we were living in Celestine, I got invited to a little shindig by a friend of the show, Joe Ellis, down here in Holland. So I came down here. Didn't know anybody other than Joe and his wife. And came down here anyway. And we spent all night racing trucks across chisel plowed fields and doing donuts. And it was the best night I'd had <laughs> since I lived at home. And I got home the next morning. I'd lost a contact in my sleep, so I was no good to shape drive anyway. Yeah. Jenna's like, well, how was it? I said, I found my people. Yeah. <laughs> and I had we're the best. home. I said, we're moving to Holland. She's like, we're not moving to Holland. And well, I'm like, turns out, guess where you live. Guess we are. Where you live now. Yeah, right here. But we, dude, we had, we had this, like, network. We had this network of, of mud roads that were just unkept by the county to where, like, back then they were all mud. Now... There's like very few, few left. Yeah. There's county didn't even line have roads gravel still a big roads. One? No way. It's gravel. Rock. It's nice. New bridges. Uh, Cherry Street. It's still mud. Yeah. Yeah. County line's gone. Slab's gone. I don't know about Iron Bridge. I got a mud road right over here, but it's only a half a mile. Yeah, but we don't want to do that. Eric will get all mad. Yeah. Eric will get all mad at us. I do like seeing the UPS trucks and stuff. Oh stuck boy! There. And the <laughs> I think the co-op fuel tanker even got buried <laughs> down there one day. Where? At? Just right over the here. Shoots through here over there, but anyway, one day everybody. But we used to get. I mean, so there was this. I, I'll just I'll just dive right into it, and this goes back to like the quality of mechanic that our first hour sponsor is mr kyle kelly he's been fixing your shit since high school oh i know that's what i'm telling you so he's bailed him out that's yeah. it, it but start, he it starts years that ago. son of a bitch had a ford ranger that was sitting on these he would probably I, i'm not i don't know even know groundhogs bias ply groundhogs i'm pretty sure it had a v8 in it i'm not a thousand percent sure but it was a ford ranger that was like a it was a mutt truck because it was all cobbled ass together. But there was a hole on County Line Road that we literally called the hole. And there was very few trucks that we knew of that could make it through said hole without assistance. And Kyle Kelly's was one of them. And that son of a, I mean, it was just like we used to go to mud bogs. Like there was like eat like the fairs. They used to have like mud. Hey, they're bogs. having mud bogs here this year in Dubois County, a tough truck competition. Exactly. So like th there was a place. <sighs> Good night. God, I wish I knew what it was called. It was just, just west of Arthur Junction on the left hand side of the road. There's a War X shop down there now, but I cannot for the life of me remember what that little park was called. But they had like real deal mud bogs. And then like the Winslow Fire Department, they would have one down there at Winslow. And like my buddy Tim Merkel, he had some gargantuous truck. I mean, it was like an 86. Oh, yeah, I remember, remember that. that? It was like yeah. an 86 Scottsdale on like 44s. With some big blown out 383 stroker motor in it. And I mean, like, we would just, I mean, that's just what we did in high school. I've always wanted a square body ship. I know, man. But like, I just wondered today, because I've seen a, I seen a vehicle. I'm about to sell my truck for an old 80s. <laughs> oh, God. I seen it. I seen a, I seen a car today that I could only imagine it was driven by a younger kid. And it was just destroyed. Like, it was just covered in mud with little bitty Because been out there hanyaking around. Just little hanyaking. Well, that's a new one. Uh, really? But just like yeah. these little piss holes that they had smeared the mud off the windshield to where they could yeah. see it. And I'm like, man, I've been there. I've been there a lot. And yeah. and, and I just wondered if kids do that anymore. I don't, I don't think... Uh, 
<clears throat> I think a lot of the mud and activity back in the day also involved partaking in cold beverages. Not me, no, man. No, honest, no way. I never drank till college. No. Nope. And I think, well, fellas, just we well, just g- g- go ahead. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, but I think the change in the demographic in regards to that kind of old Dubois County mantra of you know farm parties and bonfires is not is not doesn't isn't real no. anymore. Um, so I think it's just been a thing of, of change. I think you've seen the county proactive in getting rid of mud roads, so you lose out on the opportunity. And I think there really is something to be said that there's a lot of parents that buy their kids uber nice vehicles. Oh, my God. You, drive, you drive by that high school parking lot, and, like, it's just... That, you know, that's tough to take. Now, see, we didn't even have rock roads in Wayne County growing up. Really? There wasn't the chip and seal about as rough as you get out there. Oh, boy. Yeah. Um, got a lot of that goes on. But I think uh, Kentucky, they got rid of all their dirt roads, too, right? Yeah. Or their rock Well, roads. I'm not it's sure. I don't spend too much believe. time in Kentucky, but I'm We're telling you, we didn't have any growing it. up, and uh, we didn't have no big bonfire farm parties. <laughs> we just drove around and found fields that looked caught it. Yeah. mostly vacant. What did I you didn't. say? I missed it. We're just glad they can read. Wayne oh, County? Oh, oh. Shots fired. No, no Kentucky. not Wayne. Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I currently live on a gravel road. I feel like that's one of my greater driving skills is to be able to drive at an elevated rate of speed on a gravel so road. So my mom came and visited a few years ago, and <laughs> her and I ran. Right. Oh, yeah. Her and I <laughs> ran over to Rural King, so I took old Elk Creek Road out there. Yeah. And was. Oh, speaking of Cam Workman, go ahead. <laughs> probably doing about 55 down there. Oh, yeah. And uh, it was fine, but mom, she was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because <laughs> it was a gravel road, and she just didn't know what to do. We flipped about. Cam's truck on that road one night. Oh, boy. Hell yeah, we did. It was not good. Normally, our parents were pissed. Yeah, normally you put yeah. the rubber side up, and yeah. somebody's it's not tough. happy. Yikes. Yeah, it was good. Tough. Did you ever I- go mudding? No, <laughs> not a chance. He was playing tennis and like, what does I'm that sorry, have to do with Scott's anything? Fired. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm no, buddy. Like, <laughs> I, I just think, like, I think Casey really hit the nail on the head. I just think it's different. Like times change. Well, but I mean, Things to his change. point, like it never. I drove a '95 two-wheel drive Chevy pickup truck that my parents let me know very early on that this That's is a yours. privilege and yeah. not a. Not a. You mess that up, you're not getting another. There's right. you're back to riding the school oh, bus. Oh yeah, I, that's how I was with my Ranger, and for a long time it rode like this <laughs> because we we hill hopped all them rails. Oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. We so we that was I mean that yeah, and I just think like you said, there's plenty of people that I used to hang out with too that 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 just never did it. You know what I mean? Like Chris Schwinghammer had a, like an '80s model Mustang, yeah. and he would go mud puddling. Yeah, and he would always give us shit like, "Hey, y'all going mudding? I'll go mud puddling," <laughs> and he would just like go out to Elk Creek Road and hit these little mud puddles, and his car would be completely trashed. And I'm like, "Oh man, did you go mudding?" He's like, "No, you guys are idiots." And then he'd spend like the next three days detailing his car. Man, we go out to 4H out there, and we just cut donuts everywhere you could out there. Man, they get so pissed off. Run us I, out of there. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> the soccer fields. You <laughs> put a hurting on a soccer field. Oh, you're cutting donuts. Did you ever rain. damage your truck? And then you were like, "I don't know what happened to yes. it." Yes. <laughs> no, I never said I didn't know what happened to it. Come clean. I'd make up uh, a story that sounded reasonable. Really? Here's the apology. So my parents listen to this show avidly. Yeah. Like every, like every, literally every waking stitch of content they they absorb. And I lied to my parents one time. Is this the first they're going to know about it? I don't know. I, I'm sure they've. I'm just going to throw this out there. They weren't they're born not, at night. They, yeah, they they were born at night, but it wasn't last, last night. night. Yeah. But uh, we so I, I referenced a road called Iron Bridge earlier. Yeah. That's at least that, that's what we called it. But it was over by the 4-H fairgrounds, and like you go, it would be like east of the fairgrounds. <clears throat> and, and it was like an old logging road. I know where that is. Yeah. So we went uh, back in there one day, and that that one's pretty gnarly. Because it, I mean, it was, it was, it was pretty tough. And there was some times where like you had to look for me, my truck wasn't lifted or anything like that. I just had like super aggressive mud tires on like a bone stock truck with no engine. I had Firestone Firehawks on my two wheel drive. Right, right. No, I had steel radial mud kings. Anyway, long story short, I had a toolbox, like a DZ 
Oh, yeah. Toolbox. DWE, ZWE. Yeah. Specifically made for a step side pickup. Oh, yeah. And then we always ran dual whip and fi- tennis. fire sticks. Yeah. Like we had dual whip fire stick <laughs> antennas. Oh, God. <laughs> on our, on our, and, and like the mounting brackets for these fire sticks. Arlo, maybe we need to meet, leave the lounge and let these two have. <clears throat> but the fire sticks would mount on the inside of your tool bar, the, you know, the, between the cab and the yeah. box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hit this hole so freaking hard on Iron Bridge one time that my frame flexed. So Broke the windows yeah, out. Yeah, shattered the back mm-hmm. glass out of the damn truck. And it put dents in the back of the cab, like where that the, the CB mounts hit the cab yeah. so hard. Like my frame flexed so hard when we, bam, we hit. I mean, there's surprise. I don't even know who. Nobby might have. I don't know who was with me, but I'm surprised his knee didn't bust the dash because we hit her. We hit, hit her, her for pretty, a ton. We hit her pretty tough. We sent her. We sended it. Just going to send it. Like, they, I think that's what the kids call it now. We sended it pretty hard. Yeah. yeah. Do they say send it? No, I'm just going to Not that many it is. I sent it pretty hard. But I told my parents. damage. Yeah. He's suing. I told my parents that someone threw a rock through my windshield at the fairgrounds because they knew it was me. And I had, like, a Southridge sticker or something in the back That's a pretty likely story, I bet. Yeah. That was I was vandalized, and 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 I had to replace said window. But you know the funny thing is, is that that, that truck came solid, like it came stock with a solid glass window. And so, then when I replaced it, I went, with, I went with a slide. You got upgraded. So it was, it was got upgraded. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Somebody but anyway, yeah. Oh, sorry, mom. But do you I, feel? Do you feel better getting that off your chest? I mean, a little, I'm little sure lighter. They figured it out by now, but if they, they didn't, they knew right then and there. Yeah, I don't know. That's just something I was worried about, wondering about. I I'm, I'm like, all in. I'm <laughs> all in. <laughs> you know, I actually went with Cam Wortman in his ZR2 when you guys went mudding a few times, and I was recording back then, and I was put it on. I don't know where I was putting it because remember I recorded in your MySpace, your car. I know. I don't. Know, maybe it's Facebook or whatever, but. He did a demonstration speech in Mr. Yonker's uh, speech class one time yeah, about we, trace lighting. Like I think we talked about. That. Yeah, we did. Yeah. But I went, I went recording with y'all on when you went mudding, and I'll never forget. He stopped on County Line Road, put his truck in reverse, and then gassed it, and it would just throw it. Just that for, truck was retarded. forward. It was retarded like that. I don't know. Something to do with that ZR2 and I don't know. Anyway, Casey, what you got, man? Uh, Not mudding tires on my truck outside of the club. Uh, So today, going to the resort, usually have my normal breakfast. Today is just a tinge hungrier than usual. Avocado toast. Wheat bran. Mm -hmm. Everything baked (laughs) the seasoning. (laughs) How did you know? Grey grey (laughs) poupon. (laughs) Oh man, I'm sorry. I love it, dude. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. know. Like, well, he didn't he didn't mud in high school, so we're stereotyping. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. What's going That's on. exactly what it is. If you didn't mud in high school, then you yeah eat you food. Too you high, must nobody. eat avocado toast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> big. We have a lot of avocados in the house. Like mm. we keep freshly stocked. Anyway, oh, so I stopped sorry. at the local McDonald's. Oh yeah, to get probably my favorite breakfast food. Oh, two breakfast burritos. Yes, with hot picante. Yes, those are my favorite. My bre- my brother. They could mm-hmm. be made poorly. They could be made excellently, which I know that's not a word. I just created it, but they are delicious. They're my favorite. Love them. But I wanted to, to talk about or wonder about, like what you guys like for fast food breakfast, and because like like I'll say like I will say those are probably my favorite but i'm not opposed to a steak egg and cheese from subway like you know so uh i've never had a breakfast burrito from mac d's i've never had a subway breakfast <laughs> sandwich what um <laughs> what the? Uh, but i tell you what i do stop talking oh okay you've never had you've a- never had a sausage burrito from mcdonald's Every time I go to McDonald's for breakfast, I get a sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit with two hash browns and a Coke. Oh, my gosh, Dave. 
So I've ever, ever I, I've had it, I've tried a steak, egg, and cheese. Yeah, bagel I'm having the same once. reaction, Mace. For real, you never just were like, you know what? I'm gonna try something different today. No, not for McDonald's. And then Hardee's, I used to like Hardee's breakfast because oh. they had the hash rounds, and you get a sausage, egg, and cheese. Those are called sausage. crowns. Crowns, yeah, crispy crowns. And their biscuits and gravy was pretty good up uh, for fast food, bees and cheese. <laughs> I, I ate ten sausage burritos. In one sitting one time. I've just never tried one. They are so, like, with the hot picante, uh, tell me this, tell me this. Do you, so driving. Yep. I take it out of the wrapper, the whole burrito. All the way out? All the way out. Yes, once I know the, and secure that the bottom is not going to bust out on it. Right. So so we're, we're past that. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a... Bite, squirt, bite, squirt. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, that's my exactly question. How. That's what I'm saying. I bite the first one, and now I'm a one packet of salsa per burrito. Yeah, guy. me too. Yeah. So I take the they one. Give you two for a reason. I take the order. bite, <laughs> the top bite. Yeah. And then I I'll I'll fluff it or whatever you call <laughs> to uh, make it reach its widest point. Right. That's exactly what you call it. Yeah, and then I will <laughs> look at his hand. Then I will take the packet of said salsa and then deposit all of the contents of the packet. Oh, you go all of it? Yes, and it, it'll work its way to the bottom. And then I'm usually like bite, bite and a half, smashed city on one burrito. So I'll bite off the top. Yeah. Sprinkle across quarter square. Bite, sprinkle. So you're so you're like Arlo, like a multi sprinkler. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't got time for that. I love them. I got an endless, bottomless sack of burritos that has no time for sprinkling. Like, I'm going, I'm, I'm, you guys laugh all you want, guys, but I don't f around. When, I'm sorry. I don't no. screw around when I eat freaking burritos. I'm laughing because you said fluffer. You were holding your hand in the most just. Well, oh, how else do you put it? You, you, well. you, you, you make it uh, form. You enlarge. You, you make it wide. You make it open up with your hand. Yes, you do, big like, guy. Like, you open it up and then you squirt the contents in there. If I'm going breakfast in Huntingburg, Indiana, I'm probably going to go to Wendy's. How and is the Wendy's breakfast? It is absolutely phenomenal. And they I don't know if Wendy's breakfast, at Wendy's breakfast No, uh, they didn't have breakfast when I worked there either. Really? Oh, my I God. Didn't, I didn't know they had breakfast. The, the, so, like, if you're going a sandwich. Now, you said something earlier that's not it's not normal. Like, there, it's only at select restaurants. The, the steak, egg, and cheese bagel at McDonald's? Yeah. That was me that said that. Yeah, with the steak and then just saying I've tried it. Like the caramelized onions, and it almost has like this, like, not Hagen dazs sauce, but it's uh, like a, something on there. Yeah, it's, it's like a creamy. A, like a roux. Yeah, like a mayo aioli oh. type shit. <laughs> not a roux. That's like a pre gravy. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, <laughs> uh, jinx, double jinx, pinch poke, buy me a Coke. But they so like they put the this, shit out of them. They put this sauce so, anyway. That, it's a solid Sammy. Don't get me wrong. That's a it's a good. It's choice. a messy one though. If they have it at McDonald's, I'm going to get that plus fifty six burritos. Like it's done deal. Don't care. Where but, are you seeing on the hash browns? I'm all in. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I, I want an additional packet of picante per hash brown as well. Really? Yeah. Have oh. you ever put no? Because you didn't even have a freaking burrito. All right. I'm gonna chime in now. All right. Hurry up. Taco. <laughs> you take I'm your joking, time, dude. You got plenty of time. I'm gonna mute him. Uh, Taco Bell breakfast. Never had it. Never Not had bad. It. Yeah, I'm it's a, I'm actually a, pretty damn. Pretty good. I could only imagine it being good because I'm all in on the burrito world as in a whole. Did I ever tell you? So West Baden's Taco Bell, it had just opened, and it was a Friday, and I was like, you know what? That's a pretty long line at McDonald's. I'm gonna slide in here to Taco Bell and get a little Taco gonna Bell breakfast. Ease on it. Gonna ease on it. So I get there, and the lady was super friendly, and she was like, ah, I'm "Not serving breakfast yet." Ah! I was like, "Ah, then why are she, you open?" Yeah, I was like, "Oh, the parking lot's full." She goes, "Well, we're training, sir." And I said, "Okay." And I was like, "Well." <laughs> Uh, so when does We're breakfast start for public. future reference? He's sitting out there at the drive thru window. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Can you take Boom. my order now? We're not open. Hey, but let me finish this thought on the Wendy's. Yeah. He didn't finish his thought on Taco Bell. Seasoned potatoes. Okay. And the breakfast baconator. Yeah. 
you won't find a better sandwich. Like they have this. Uh, oh my god, a breakfast baconator, dude! It is unreal. What time do they open for breakfast? I don't know, but it's open for nine o'clock break. I know that. But they have like it's like a Swiss cheese that they use, but Ooh. it's like a liquid Swiss cheese. Ooh, dude, it, unbelievable! They have a ghost pepper ranch dip sauce for like your. It's, yeah, it's, that sounds good. It's I think really going good. by there about five thirty in the morning, but they don't look too. Busy. I don't think they yeah, open until about open. seven. Yeah, probably so. <laughs> seven. Dude, that is early. Yeah, I um, I had a unfortunate situation as a child where, for some reason, my parents allowed me to get pancakes while we were on the road to uh, the Smoky Mountains, and I ripped a package of. Um, Scissor. syrup in the old lap, and uh, I Did was. Did you get chased by a bear? Uh, no, I was. Uh, by the time we stopped in uh, Louisville, North Carolina, that was a nice sticky mess that Lu- I was. Louisville, Kentucky, left to be reminded of. Corden from Corden, Louisville, Kentucky, three weeks ago, mm. softball tournament, syrup lap, Max Masoner. Oh, the Max <laughs> Noodle. Y'all take a hotcakes platter (laughs) via the Honda Odyssey. (laughs) Hotcakes platter one, Maxwell zero. (laughs) Turns out he smelled like a honeypot for the next six hours. Like where and, and, and Justine and I, like the kids are just like chiming it in. (laughs) <laughs> I want this, I want that, I want that. And then like Max is like, I'll take the hot cake spider with chocolate milk. We're like, hot cake spider with chocolate milk. And we get like two, not even 35 seconds out of the freaking parking lot. And you hear Max like, oh, crap. Oh, rip. <laughs> and I was like, what? And he's like, I spilled the syrup. And we're like, what are we, what are we doing? <laughs> like, Justine and I, I'm, I'm like, we just simultaneously look at each other. And we're like, we had that thought like, why did we didn't, let didn't him get pancakes cake. in the freaking van? Hey, like, speaking of doing? speaking of breakfast, oh. this is an unpaid ad, very much unpaid. But if you are looking for a delicious breakfast on a Saturday morning, come on over to Holland and see our friends at the Holland Legion. Oh, Jason, Jason Miller, and he keeps the show a running. But they have a pancake. That is as big as a skillet, thick, fluffy. I get the uh, Southwestern omelet, just loaded, like just un- unreal. If you're looking for a good breakfast on a Saturday morning, that's it. Stop on by. You go down there. Yeah, hmm. it's delicious. You check it out. That is delicious. But yeah, I uh, breakfast fast food is probably one of my faves. I think you can get dustbusters down there in the morning too. What's a dustbuster? Yeah, I don't know what that is either. Gosh, guys, beverages. Oh my goodness! Is it like a screwdriver? I mean, whatever you want, whatever you something want. to dust, bust the dust. Yeah, like you're just trying to hair the dog kind of deal. Oh, that a boy. I don't know, what? man. I'm all in on fast food breakfast. Uh, I like that. any breakfast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably my favorite food of the meal of the day. Biscuits and gravy aren't much of a to go item, but I do. No, it's tough. Dairy Queen what about, Heidelberg solid. Uh, what about uh, breakfast pizza? All in Casey's. Yeah. yeah. With the gravy or with the cheese? Oh my both. God, they got it with gravy? Duh. Yeah, both. Don't duh me. I've never been there to get it. What do you got? Come well, out from underneath you gotta, the rock. You got to be babe. able to be at Casey's between the hours of six and nine. False. Gosh dang it, guys. You can order them anytime you want, bro. Can you, can you get them before yeah, six? Yeah, hell yeah. We used to get, we work nights. We used to get them all the time at night. That Casey's in Huntingburg is open from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah, well, this is like so. This I'm is not going to circa 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Where can I get breakfast in Huntingburg about 5:15? Nowhere. Not a chance. Well, I guess I'll just keep not knowing. Where uh, the yeah, goes nowhere. On. No, I don't know what time Dairy Queen. What opened. Mains? That's right. This weekend, they've been posting their biscuits and gravy. They're five dollars. Oh, they, breakfast. they do have a five dollar breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Old, I get old school quite a bit. I call ahead mm. on my way in. Swing on in. It's yeah, good. Sandy stuff. makes. Am I up, guys? Yeah, it's you, bud. Well, I mean, if we were done with mine. Yeah. Well, I just seen you hit the stop button. We all. Well, I was in preparation. We all love breakfast. Whether yeah, it's yeah. breakfast, guys. Yeah. All right. So, topic number three. This has been one I've been fighting with for a while now, boys. Helen Keller. No, that too. Okay. 
What is with all the hate on suspenders? Because I feel like any time I wear suspenders, somebody's got some smart-ass comment to make. And uh, I'm just a big fan of suspenders. Uh, the elastic ones, I don't like the leather ones too much. Um, don't like the, Yeah, I don't like the type that clip onto your belt either. I like the, <laughs> the clamp that hooks onto your britches. Now, you still got to wear the belt for the knife or whatever that goes on the belt for your utilitarian type purposes. But it just seems like nowadays you go wearing suspenders in public and everybody's got an opinion. When was the just, last time you wore suspenders in public? I mean, I have it semi-regularly. Yeah. Like David is a very avid <laughs> suspender wearer. When was the last time? I mean, it, it, I have never seen you in suspenders. What? I have really? never. Huh. Hmm. I yeah, have. I've not seen you either, but. I don't see you that much. Well, but out here I'm normally wearing shorts, and I'll wear suspenders with shorts, but not in public. I normally try to keep it. It's a winter-fall type. Like, you wear wear a lot of them in the winter and the fall. Well, no, that's not all true, because I like wearing them in the summer. You just don't wear no shirt with them. You know, you got to hold your britches up. I mean, do you... uh, I see them as unnecessary. (laughs) Well, because you're not fat. I got no cover your nipples or you don't cover your nipples? But a belt Well, you got to cover them because... No, if you ain't got no ass, a belt is insufficient. I don't have an ass. I have a back with a crack in it. Yeah, so the so you'll see me even when I wear a belt. I'm but I'm my too fat. To, but I'm too fat to wear suspenders because I don't tuck my shirts in. Well, no, that's the biggest <laughs> problem. So what you do to get by that is you tuck in your undershirt, put the suspenders on, then put on the overshirt. Now, Dave, <laughs> <laughs> the only reason the only reason that I'm wearing an undershirt today. <laughs> Is because when they ordered this custom yeah. scrapyard dog shirt, it's a little too short. Yeah. But I very, very rarely am a double shirt guy. Oh, I always double shirt. I'm either no shirt or two shirts. That's wild. Even right now, look at that. Two shirts. <laughs> yeah. Two shirts. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I. I. Old I, Davy two shirts. I do hold Davy two shirts. Old two ply. I do have a pair of suspenders. Oh, but I it love is, suspend- it is. They work so well. Yeah, but it, it's it is the kind that have the, the hook under the belt. Yeah, and I don't like that because with me being, I have a which I know we've always we refer to it as the mud flap. Yeah, yeah. The mud flap is. Uh, it's very detrimental to the uh, the hook type of mm-hmm. suspender because on the sides of the front it'll like I've had one you know come undone. Oh no, I uh, I got a pair of glasses with a scratch in them because my metal hook gave loose and it flung up and it's if I hadn't have been wearing them glasses I might have a glass eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing to add. It was tough. Uh, so wait, your suspender broke and it came towards your no. Face. Well, they got little. They, they got little teeth. It's like an alligator clip. Little alligator clip, and uh, you put it on your britches. But if you get to grooving too much or what have you, it'll it'll come loose. You and get it comes if, you, out. if you if you happen to get just a, t- a tad uh, too sporty. Yeah, you can't be getting too sporty. Uh, but as far as the nipples, I'd go over the nipples because you go to the sides, they chafe. So I try to cover Nobody the likes nipple. So you don't actually wear your suspenders out in public? Yes. Yes, I do. Where people can see them, though. But it, yes. like, I don't tuck in polo shirts. So if I'm wearing suspenders to work, it's under the polo shirt, over the undershirt. That's basically. what I'm saying. He doesn't. They're not on display. I think yeah, they are. Now they just are. Just not quite at work a bit. if I'm wearing now, a polo. I don't, I, don't, I don't like that. And then it's just... It just works so much hey. better in a belt because they fall off my pants. Yeah, that's my his, opinion. His pig, his farm. That's fine. I'll just hold the tail. Yeah. That's fine. My thing is, is if you're going to wear spenders, mm-hmm. it's tucked in. Be, 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 spenders. Be be proud. Be all in. Now, did you guys remember? You do you, get, do you guys remember who else was wearing spenders on the uh, at, at trivia night? Yeah. Do you? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Our friend. Yeah. Oh, Brad Mar- Mr. Bradley Mark. He might have been wearing oh, all of his suspenders. He was wearing. Was it uh, formal? They no, said Ireland. Oh, yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, I do believe you helped him uh, get them buckled back. I, he had a uh, slight uh, clasp malfunction. Mm, himself. It happens all the time. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and Dave actually helped him uh, tell you get what, that wrangled. When out. I saw him the other day when I was over there, I just wanted to give him a big hug. Yeah, he's, he's I mean, 
one of the best guys I know. And he handed oh, me yeah. a bush light and was like, hey, got some bacon fresh in the smoker. Let me go. Uh, and he just took the old knife out. And here you go. That's yeah. so good. It's I tell you what, you know who wouldn't do that? Somebody didn't wear suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, you know, we have... How many old people... Now, do you have multiple pairs or just one? I've got a nice pair of Levi's that you can wear with, like, uh, dress pants. I got got a pair of Vegas ones that's, like, the wide. It has, like, the suits of cards on it and a roulette wheel and such. (laughs) I got a a set. That's when he's going fixing down to go down to Bingo Hall. uh, Have him Saturday night. Got a set that say Oliver onto it. It was my grandpa's. There's Oliver Tractor ones. Yeah. Those are in the house. Okay, so that's what I was saying. There was a guy I used to work with at the mine. Had like the tape measure ones? Yes. That's classic. We called him Batman. Like we, he (laughs) used to have. I mean, there was all kinds of them. Like, he had the, the American flag, Hell tape yeah. measure, maybe even some rainbow ones, and, like, some other camouflage and, like, all the other stuff. And I just think that's cool as shit. Now, another fr- – he's he passed away, Mr. Junior Boozy. Mm-hmm. You remember Junior Boozy? Yeah. Tyler Cerebro's grandpa. He's Peepaw. Peepaw Junior. Peepaw Boozy. He would only wear – one suspender mm. like he had two like it was a regular pair of suspenders but he would only he would only clasp the one side now i've been known to do that with my bib overalls well i know that but like with the suspenders he he, he would like i don't know if he would what was the reason well because he he do you remember how he walked he was in a really bad car accident, oh. and he, he kind of had a he had a mean swagger to him. Yeah, he did. Bitching his giddy up. Right? Yes, sir. <clears throat> and his pants, like he, there was no reason to, because his shoulder was all broke, broke down, and it would just slide right off. <clears throat> that makes sense. Now I've been thinking about trying to go to the three point system. I've always had the four point spenders where you got <laughs> two and two. Why are you laughing? But they make the two in the front and one in the back. That's what mine are. Mine are the three point. Okay. Right, so I'm about to show you something. Anyone listening or watching, you won't be able to see this, but they're called like jean suspenders. They're called button fly suspenders. I've never seen this, but I just Googled suspenders. Like I can't tell what's going on. Is it hooked to his nipples? No, it's hooked. <laughs> <laughs> From here, it looks like he's got one on it's his button hooked, and two on his no, nipples. No, it's hooked to two very strategic points. <laughs> His front jean button. Yeah. Okay, so strong point. Oh then, my god. And then to the it's back. Like, <laughs> to the back. No. Hey, you said you have no ass. Look at that. That would that work. That does perfect. not work. You gotta yeah, have two you... points in the rear there. Why? Well, you gotta think of how a perfect plane <laughs> Can is. Can you made. please scroll back to that front view one more time? <laughs> 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 Looks like he's trying to Try out for the X Men there. So can you imagine <laughs> he's that guy? wearing a thong backwards, <laughs> upside down, and backwards? <laughs> Could you imagine that he, that guy? He got a call from his agent. He's like, "Hey, I got a gig for you." He's like, "Oh, sweet, it's been a little bit." He goes, "Yeah, you're gonna be taking, uh, you're gonna be modeling some like Suspenders. suspenders and blue Uniboy. jeans." Now, see, that's the thing. You can, you can. I tell you what, you get the old. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. Here's what I'm trying to tell you. Now you go out for a few drinks and take the missus to a nice dinner. Will you buy it? That son of a bitch comes home. undone, Dave. Now, You're losing on. a tooth. <laughs> but I'm telling you, you can... <laughs> you imagine how much torque <laughs> that would have if it was wrapped all the way around my mud flap and that thing come undone? It would it would hit Casey from here. <laughs> that son of a bitch would fly straight out like an elephant trunk and just... Wapow! Wapow! Like I mean that that's a terrible idea. Whoever well, did that is dumb. I'm just telling you can't slip out of that if the missus, you know, if you're with the missus, a little like yeah, because nothing time. gets them hot and bothered like a man. It's <laughs> a unipoint suspender coming <laughs> straight over the center of your mud flap. I mean that's good night. That'd be tough to figure out. So you have a couple drinks, you ain't getting in it. And if there you, ain't no pissing got, over the top with them units, well, what do you got to take a shit? No, you you unbutton the front part and it strangles you to death. I know. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> Did you try to hate you. Just imagine. Nope. Just imagine me standing <laughs> shirtless with the letter Y <laughs> on my chest. So I'm wearing a unit that is 
It comes down to a V and then just wise straight down to my front butt. Down the down the happy trail. Yeah, that's that's retarded. I'm gonna send you this if we can somehow put this over. God, that'd be hilarious. We'll just dub that photo in there. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do that. Oh, God. God. At any rate, I'm very pro suspenders. <laughs> uh, I'm actually in between suspenders right now. <laughs> Due to Tell us about your pet rock next. Do you, Angel? Take me, Donnie, to be your wife. If I got a boat or if I'm in between boats. <laughs> Ricky Clem, I know I give that guy a shout out a lot, but he's probably one of my biggest critics at work every day. Like Mr. Clem, he's, uh, he's a flathead bastard from eastern Dubois County. But uh, he, he, he's told me about 684,000 times that he would actually pay for me to be uh, retrofitted with a pair of suspenders. Because your ass hangs out. I, there is more ass. Like, be, my buddy, another guy said, because like, Rick struggles with it too, but see, he's not a belt wearer. Mm. And it's like, which I don't understand how a grown man could not wear a belt at work. Which well, is, it's cause, well, I tell you what, I'm too fat. If I went without a belt very far. No, it's terrible. Like, I, there's no way. But there is... Uh, there's been very many comments before saying that like they these people they, they see more ass in a, in an eight hours time than they've ever seen. And your chum stop looking in their life. Then don't know? look. That's what I tell. But uh, the kids are always giving me. Yeah, shit like I said, that. no ass. It's a masoner curse. We just it, it, it's just tough. Spot. <clears throat> I mean, I imagine everybody knows what's going on there. It looked like a bullfrog standing up on his back legs, and he you just your britches, you know, they are just. You. John Madden's over here drawing football play. <laughs> I know. Can you superimpose that over? Yeah, I will. I will. So yeah, just between like the gravity it's, it's and an the ass. mechanical, it's a it's a back with a with a with a crack in it. Like I just don't have an ass. It's uh -huh. like somewhere in college, I was walking, and I fell and took a hard spill because I used to have an ass, hmm. and then my ass got bumped up to the frontal region, and I'm just. Maybe you I almost get it. look like you know what's the guy on the minions Gru, mm -hmm. where he's kind of hefty up top. Yep. But he King of the have, Hill had that. King yeah, of the Hill had no that. ass. Maybe you ought to check out Instagram for some of them Instagram models and build your glutes out. That's all it is, your glutes. Well, yeah, I ain't got no glutes. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm a damn. I'm a damn. All right, here we go. Oh, are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's, it's right time. now. Let's what are it. we ready for? It's time for us to start adding to this playlist, I believe. I don't nope. think it is. No, it ain't. I think it's time to visit our wandering sponsors of the uh, Glizzy Machine back there. Our friends at Merkley and Sons. Yep. Because it is time. I'm pretty sure last week we did this before that. No, okay. we're That's fine. Right. Either way. <laughs> it is time for the Merkley and Sons Choice Cut Questions of the Week for the fellas. Mm. The fellas. Sponsored by our friends at Merkley and Sons. The ultimate destination for meat enthusiasts. Like I said last week, Merkley's Bacon is the official starter of Sunday brunch. Go in and see Bradley and John Boy and load up on their breakfast meats from bacon, sausage, ham, and more. If breakfast isn't what you are shopping for, it, maybe it's not time for breakfast. Maybe we're not loading up on breakfast. If it's not what you're shopping for, you can still choose from a wide selection of their fresh beef and pork products, frozen chicken, or seafood. Merkley & Sons prides itself on providing the best of the best. Every breakfast should begin with unwrapping a Merkley & Sons package. Let the aroma of bacon fill your kitchen. Hell yeah. Oh my! That is uh, that was a very uh, seductive ad read. <clears throat> well, mm. when I think about Merkley and Sons, I think about you know letting all inhibitions go and yeah. just as long as it's that, my, not my me. talk about spenders. So our questions, uh, a thank you to all the wonders that have responded and yeah. sending questions in. We appreciate it. We're cataloging. We'll get them taken care of. Um, but it also, on the bad side of things, pointed out a few that we probably let slip through the cracks. Oh, I'm sorry. And so we're on a, 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 an apology campaign. I tell you, and we, we're only human. Yeah. yeah. And we've we're been known human. to have a drink or two. Shit happens. 
Yeah. So, do we want to give them a shout out? Oh, it's getting ready. They're going yeah. to when we tell so, them whose questions they are. Mr. AJ Ingram. Oh. We apologize. Cuzzy. Whatever happened to your email with your questions? I don't know. Cuzzy. It's hard to say. Is this the one that the bachelor party was talking about the other day? No. Uh, no I don't no. think so. I thought no. that was an Ingram. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, same family. The email begins very promptly. Hello, Dutchman. Hello. First time caller, long time listener. Yes. See my questions below. <laughs> my wife and I will be hiking in the Grand Canyon on 310 next week. They did. I look forward to listening to the newly dropped podcast as we are hiking in, hiking in. The Dutchman go wherever I go. Thanks for doing what Aww. you do. Hell yeah. That's a real nice message my we just boy. got there. Yeah. That's my so, family. First question, beginning with our friend Arlo, because Arlo is here and in person. If you could have one historical figure, living or dead, on In Depth with the Dutchman, who would that be? Ooh. God, it's hard. Morgan Whalen. <laughs> He's not dead. Living or, or, dead. Dead. or dead. Oh, living or dead. His, his Simon's dead. <laughs> wow. Mm. Only one line from them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Doctor, don't even let me do this, but I had to. I had to tell the fans. Pass. Come back to me. <sighs> Muhammadu Gandhi. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Might just sound terrible now. Burt Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Uh, I'm probably going to go with a local fella by the name of Abraham Lincoln. No. Oh. Four score and seven years, seven ago. years ago. Did Gandhi speak English? Actually, you know, like, know. we're even We'd talking have a real about hard it. time with him on the Dutch. I, I got somebody living. Oh. Okay. Uh, and I'm about three fourths of the way through the book. Matthew McConaughey. Oh, mm. all right, all right, all right, all right. That book, I got a book. Is it? It's Lincoln. good. Um, I was thinking about it. Like maybe I would swap out Abe for Jesus. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we just yeah. we just go there. What about Moses? Yeah, that'd be a good one too. Yeah, be kind of in that same vein. Uh, if you could time travel, when and where would you go? Uh, Arlo. I, guys, I don't know. I'm Man, you're like, terrible at this. Well, game. no, but I mean, normally you're we have them to prepare. We can normally mentally prepare ourselves. They weren't we in the show. That's why the, in, for it, rapid That's fire. not true. In the beginning, it was called rapid fire. Like you just got to shoot from the hip, pal. Just take one. It doesn't what, matter. What are you, feeling? you won't be all right. judged. All right. Well, yeah, you I'm just know trying we're to uh, judge the shit out of them. <laughs> 1960s. Nice, bro. I'm going 70s, like probably around <laughs> mid 75, 78, like when my dad was in high school. Fast oh, cars. Nice. Hell yeah. Pretty women. Hell yeah. Loose women. Fast Easy. cars. Loose women. Go ahead. 2484. Wow. <laughs> oh, my. Don't judge him, guys. Don't yeah. judge him. No. Uh, Well, where? Where would you go? 2484. No, it doesn't say that's not the question. Just wait, when in time. If you could time travel, when and where would you go? Here. Oh, yeah. I mean, here as in the U.S. of A. I'd want to just the world together. I want to see what state we're in. 400 years from my birth. What if you travel there and then it's it, there's nothing? It's just blank. It could very, it could absolutely happen. The thing is, I don't think you ever travel back then. To risk, risk I'm willing to take. Wow. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Uh, I think I am. In 1850s, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 17. in 1776. Nice. When the boys roll the Constitution out, and then we just gear up and go. You'd uh, be like, I'm a notary. I got this. <laughs> I got you guys. What current celebrity would you like to hang out with for a day? Everybody current knows celebrity. Mine. Huh? Everybody knows mine. <laughs> go for it then. What no, it? You, that's not how this works, Arlo. You're up. Um,. Taylor Swift. T Swizzy. Yeah, I'm going with T Swizzy. Thank you. I knew it. Donald Trump. Jelly Roll. Oh, oh I jelly totally roll. thought you were going like Kid Rock or something. Oh, well, no, no, Jelly Roll. Kid Rock would be close. That would be close. 
Uh, current celebrity that you'd like to hang out with for a day? I was lying. Mine's not Donald Trump. Oh, well, then who, who is Steven it? Steven Ranella. Oh, oh, okay. Good hands good. down. I think I would hang out with Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, damn, because it would have to be. Totally forgot about it. Yeah. and Because I think I would. It would be great. I think it would be a great conversation. I think he's very good at talking to would anybody. Would you get all everybody. juiced up on Alpha Brain before you started? Yeah. Just to clear his mind. Yeah, of course. What is your least favorite chore to do around the house? Oh, my. Arlo pay somebody to do his. Uh, Man, <laughs> I knew that. I chores. knew that was coming. And Writing uh, the check, and it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, take, they just bill his credit card automatically on a monthly thing. We'll see, and then I'm gonna say this, and you guys are gonna be like, "Wow, sounds terrible." So I already, I'm already just gonna go ahead and prime it up. But I hate taking out the trash, and there's a reason why. So it's Jasper just... does these trash stickers, and they're an absolute pain in the ass. Because you can run out of trash stickers. And hey, Bill, no... will drop a dumpster off in your driveway. Yeah, seventy-eight dollars. Uh, I don't. I don't think that the folks in Ireland would want that. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're right. You put it in the back of that cul-de-sac. Split yeah. the bill with everybody. Just put it just like next to my driveway. It's <laughs> trash. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's one thing I hate. Taking out the trash, big fella. Laundry. Yeah. Because it never ends. Yep. Same. Can't stay on top of it with five people in a house. Mm-hmm. Scrubbing a shower. Oh. I do pay somebody to do that. Yeah. Not in this household. If you had to pick only one hobby to do the rest of your life, what would it be? Ride motorcycles. And delivering pizzas. Wow. You, got the boxes back there. you know what's funny? Uh, you're young, the youngest one. Is it Will? William? That's old Bill. Will well, Billy. Bill. He goes... Why you got those coolers on there? Nice. <laughs> We're raising that boy right now. Uh, Fishing, buddy. Yep. Podcasting. Oh, look at that. Dang it, David. Make everybody else feel bad. Uh, I'm going golfing. Yeah, I'm golfing. Uh, what are a few of your go-to tunes while chilling around a campfire? Ooh. I usually just pick a playlist on Spotify. Just go with it. Yeah. Same with us. I mean, anytime we're fire sitting, it's usually either like now or recently, it's the Dutchman list. Or if if not, it's usually some sort of like classic rock something. So there's another playlist on Spotify that can be searched. Smoker One. Smoker One. And I add to <laughs> I that all it. the time. I knew it. And I, I like that one. I like sitting around the campfire. I like something a little easy listening. Not like... Crazy easy, but in Kenny that, G, like probably no. some OAR or some Dave Matthews. Or... Sorry, I'm... yes. <laughs> what is it? I, no, that's fine. So hey, those are AJ's oh, questions. Oh, what a sour <laughs> oh, AJ, thank come you, on, thank you, thank you for those questions. Sorry, we did not get to them sooner. And that, my friends, is the Merkley and Sons Choice Cuts questions of the week. For the, the fellows. I love that segment. That's a good Which one. leads us into Let the Dutchman Be Your DJ. Here it is. Spotify That's the one. update. How many uh, followers, Dave, do you know for I sure? I actually haven't checked recently. Yeah, so there's I know a, there's got to be a bunch. There's some folks I think following. last time I looked, which is around when we were in. Uh, the big mo over there was like forty three or forty four. Yeah, it's pretty good. We haven't, yeah. you know, done much with it, Not but really. uh, share it out. Go like, follow it, check it out. Thirty nine. Okay, we lost a few. <laughs> Maybe after these new ones, they'll be back. <laughs> uh, Arlo, what do you got for us this week? All right, I've got uh, I've got two to add. Okay. Uh, first one is kind of getting in preparation of Fourth of July, and that is Toby Keith. Courtesy of the red, white. Oh, oh. I knew you were going to say that Freaking for some reason. Banger! I was. Gonna, I thought you were going to go Lee Greenwood. We'll put a boot in your ass. Do you remember American after nine eleven? That was just mighty. like that. Like they couldn't play that song enough. Oh. Uh, next one. Uh, this it comes from Mr. Kenny Chesney. Uh, I go back. It's a Ooh. good. Banger. It's a good like driving song. I feel like. Would you judge me if I said I'm out on Kenny Chesney? Oh, I don't I really like him either. I'm sorry. Man, that's okay. Right. No, I, I right. just he's so mysterious about things, and then like you see who he's 
wrote like any of his songs and you realize i don't know i just well i also like morgan wallen so that's okay mm, that's well okay. good news is all right well i'm shifting so. gears real hard here yeah go for it uh first thing i'm gonna go with a nice uh little sing-along tune by a, a band called men without hats <laughs> we're going with the safety dance oh Never heard of it. If we want to. Yes, you can. Oh, you can leave you your no friends behind. Because your you friends don't, don't dance, and if they don't dance, then they have no friends of mine. We can yeah, dance. Thank you. thank you, thank you. Have you ever seen Bodo? Yes. It's okay. in there. So you've seen uh, it. I second know. song is System of a Down oh. Deer Dance. So are you in a dance theme this week? How does that one go? Sort of. Don't look at the last one. I'm going to have to really clean this one up. <laughs> the sec- the third and final song is a song for uh, not children. Oh. Do not let your children listen to this song because it is absolutely controversial as hell. It's terrible. It is does not even offer a clean version. And it's called S-L-U-T. Me Out. Me Out by N-L-E Choppa. We were rocking out to that. At, yes, uh, we were. And uh, just listen. That's all I got to say. That, those are mine. <laughs> Glad we're putting that on the playlist. <laughs> hey, don't let your kids listen to it, but this is the song that we have. Well, I mean, just hit, it, it just hit next when there, that comes up. Okay, so my first one is going to be by a group. Uh, not too many songs uh, that everybody knows. Maybe this one you don't even know. It's a group called Pirates of the Mississippi. The song is called Feed Jake. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pirates uh, of the Mississippi. Never heard of it. Yeah, Feed Jake's a song about the dog dying. Mm-hmm. Or if he dies, if I die before I wake, Feed Jake. Anyway, like good feed song. Feed Jake. He's been a good dog. Yeah. Uh, the second one's David Allen Coe. He's the writer of this tune. I didn't know whether to go with the writer or some of the people that cover it, but I went with the writer. Time off for bad behavior. Oh, yeah. That one gets me fired up. <laughs> You've been misbehaving, Dave. And then uh, the other one I've been listening to a lot in the last week and a half by Dusty Springfield, Son of a Preacher Man. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, Sam Barker, Straight and Narrow. Ooh, you know, I'm kind of all out on Sam Barker. Really? I don't even know who that is. I'm just freaking with. Or oh, freaking, freaking with. He just, he's just janking your chain. Uh, <laughs> I've never heard that of Sam Barker either. It's a good song. <laughs> we can listen to it. Uh, Hootie and the Blowfish. Ooh. Yeah, Hootie. Yes. Let her cry. And it all falls down on you. Uh... And then Ryan Bingham, oh, South yeah. Side of Heaven. That's a good one. That is a good one. Yeah. So Sam Barker's in that same vein. Oh, good. Not like exactly, but this is a good song. Arlo can pull a couple of these up when we go off air. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say the same vein. Maybe the same cardiovascular system, but not the same vein. Okay. Dave. I'm just here to tell you right now that Darius Rucker, he's done a great job on the country music thing. Yeah. And I'm happy they went out and did it. But, but it's hard to beat Darius him. Rucker, to me, will always be he the lead man for... Well, he wasn't Hootie. It was, uh, like I, he was a lead man for Hootie and the Blowfish. And right. I just... God, I just think about some of the... Uh, we, My dad a, was com- a huge Hootie fan. That's a mm-hmm. conversation for another... That's a good topic someday, that 90s music scene. Uh, it is now... Getting close to the end. Unfortunately, don't be sad that it's over. Hey, just because 134 is in it. Just that means 135 is fixing to come. Yeah. Just be happy that uh, it happened. So Don't this is worry. Be, be happy. happy. Okay. This is the last pass brought to you by our friends at Hope Outdoor Power. Which, by the way, new Polaris side-by-sides oh, yeah. on the... Lot. On the floor, too. Yeah. Right in the there, boys right. are ready to sell them. Are you ready to take your outdoor power equipment to the next level? Well, of course you are. That's why you need Hof Outdoor Power, the ultimate destination for all of your outdoor power needs. You know about the Kubotas. You know about the Cub Cadets. You know about the Polaris side-by-sides. But please don't forget about their Echo products. Hof Outdoor Power is a one-stop shop that you can always rely on for quality and convenience. 
Don't settle for less than the best when it comes to your outdoor equipment. Visit Hope Outdoor Power today in Jasper or Evansville and discover why they are the leaders in the industry. Hope Outdoor Power, where the grass is always greener, and don't forget, mow responsibly. That's right. Nice. Arlo, back after a brief sabbatical. A short little hiatus. A short little hiatus. Not my choice, guys. Quit picking nights that I have my children. Uh, well, I blame they, you. They could come here and hang out. They could man the glue like, machine. You, are you guys serious? That would be terrible. <laughs> they could. I'm gonna they, be honest. I love those boys, but that would be absolutely exhausting. They'd be. We'd get five <laughs> seconds in the show, and you'd be like, "All right, I'm done." They would. Uh, they could man the glizzy machine. The glizzy machine's like a treadmill; it just keeps on moving. Uh, what you got, Arlo? Why are you trying to rush me along? No, or what? sir, dude. No way. Golly. No, glad to be back. Love you guys. Uh, love you too. We uh, we well, we recorded it. Uh, HCC. Yeah, that's yeah. right. So, Hell yeah. Yeah, it's not been that long, but yeah, no, just uh, glad to be back. So that's it. That's all I got. Hell yeah, man, buddy. Uh, huge, huge week so far. Well, uh, yeah, the scrapyard dogs went and got it. <laughs> that's right. Woo! We put up that big dub. Got some hardware for the uh, for the tournament this weekend. But yeah, like I said, I know a uh, lot going on. Big weekend at St. Louis last weekend. Got a big week. Wrapping up baseball season, rec season for Max, rec season for Ellie, rec season for Evie. On to All-Stars and travel ball and all that bull crap for the rest of the summer. But uh, for those that have been asking, my last pass is going to be about the barbecue competition that we will be hosting at the Holland Fest. Oh. So we have some things to work out. We have some details to finalize, but stay tuned. There will be some. There will be plenty of time for you to uh, get entered in for the backyard Wondering Dutchman backyard barbecue. Yeah, contest. first annual the first Wandering year. Dutchman backyard barbecue competition. We will. Uh, we will definitely. We'll be ready for it, and w- you better be ready for it. So, stay tuned for information on that. But other than that, man, my last pass is is keep on keeping on, and uh, doors always open. Give me a buzz if you need anything. Smoke yeah, dog. Yeah. Well, we're recording this on Wednesday, the uh, 14th of June here. So by the time you get this, it's already going to be past. But Father's Day is coming up. So I hope that by the time you hear this, everybody had a good Father's Day. You took the time to tell your dad or the person in your life there that took the role. Uh, thanks for everything they did there. And I hope you enjoyed your Sunday with the kiddos and everything, no matter how old you are, how old your kiddos are. And uh, other than that, uh, Dutchman store wrapped up. Now, I guess, two weeks ago by the time this comes oh, out. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Be- so, everything should be getting pressed, made, boxed up, and uh, hopefully soon everybody will start seeing those. And, man. I can't wait. I, I, I know some people. I know a lot of people that bought stuff, but I just hope to see one on a stranger in the wild. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> that's going to make cool. my and day. they're no longer a fan. That's going to be cool. <laughs> uh, I tell you what. I, Janelle and I were talking about it, um, the trip to St. Louis, like the drive over, because life is so busy during the week. And I know we don't get out much on the weekends except for the regular run of the mill stuff we do. But uh, it was good to get away for a little bit. Um, it was it's it's good it's it's good to get away with your significant other. Um, it helps you have adult conversations or if you're me you're locked into listening to the podcast or you've got a few phone calls you make along the way and then she bitches at you because oh yeah you know you're not listening or talking yeah um because men are such great communicators but uh good to get away great to get away we made some friends out there uh it was a blast i could see where we do another trip oh yeah uh, again soon with that operation but uh big shout out smoke you took mine father's day um you know, Papa Frank listens, and uh, I've learned a lot more from him by watching his actions and how he's handled business uh, these past handful of years. So, uh, love you, Dad. So, with that, we wrap up another one. That's 134 in the can. And what we like to say Dutchman, Dutchman out. out.